morning, morning, morning. KJ, get my deep water culture on. The only thing is, I got some rooted clones that uh, that's a uh, monster crop, which is some budded clones that it's got to come back and revenge. What's up, medical fit? Appreciate you stopping by, my baby. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some reflected on it. I already know I'm gonna get the emergency blankets for the inside. <coughs> <coughs> right now I'm just doing an experiment I took some cuttings I just stuck them in there and uh, seeing if they are root with the uh, uh, deep water culture and the uh, hydro spraying on them and see if I can get them rooted I did it a long time ago but I'm going to try to do it again in here but I got some clones I could put in here I'm just doing it right now just to see what, what the deal is but you know for uh maybe two hundred dollars i built this room the uh deep water culture system cost 75. no i forgot because the pump and all this shit too i had to buy but uh well about 250 it cost to do this room because the lights i got in the package deal for all the equipment that i had bought off of facebook marketplace that's a temporary light i'm gonna put some, some more lighting in there once they veg out a little bit Oh, yeah, I know. I used to use it a lot. I used to I order them off of Amazon. They're a lot cheaper. I use, I could get them from Myers or Walmart too for like a dollar seventy a, a blanket. But I get a bundle like twenty and fifty at uh, off of Amazon. I'm gonna put some reflected up in there. And uh, medical fit. Looking at your plants, man. I had my plants backwards in my tent number two. Uh, which one was uh, Mac 1? I believe the ones closer to the outside of the tent is the Mac 1's. I think that's what you were showing in your last short. If that's the Mac 1 and they look alike. Let me show you. I've been cleaning up and rearranging some shit too. My next go around in this, I'm gonna veg out longer. But I'm thinking that that look like your Mac 1, don't it? Don't mind the drip damage I had drips. But don't that look like your Mac 1? So now I got the deep water culture over here, which I'm trying to root these clones right now just to see if I can get them rooted. But I still got all my plants over here vegging up underneath the stairs. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's just yours bigger. I'll get these out. But I got these that's already rooted that I was gonna put in there originally, but I just figured I'd try to uh, get those to root in the deep water culture just to see if I can. I took them off of that seedling over there. <coughs> yeah, it's snowing heavy too. I just was in it. I just had to take my kids to school. So yeah, I had these four that originally was going in the deep water culture, but I had to re -veg them out so I didn't want to throw them in there yet. So I was going to let them veg out here, but if I can get those rooted that's in there, then I'll just let them root 
and grow. If not, I take these that already got baby roots coming out the bottoms and throw those in there and veg them out in there. I was almost thinking about rinsing some roots off of some of the shit that I already got rooted and throwing them in there. Got to get out the bed, the garage. Oh, you mean the garbage? Welcome, road music. Once I can figure out how to do it, I give people some wrenches. I don't know how to do it when I'm here. <coughs> I figured that's what you were saying. <coughs> I had stopped giving uh, <coughs> humidity in here for a couple of days to let it dry out and let the roots spread faster. And then I set the uh, humidity back up. I had this all rolled up, but I had to fumigate again. So yeah, I got these here that's going to go, if those don't root, I, I, I uh, take these out and put those in. But they only been in here a day. I just put them in yesterday, and they are standing up and getting stronger. So we're going to see what happens. And right now I just got uh, a little bit of nitrogen, but I got more of uh, phosphates and potash. That spillover was for me trying to get the pump working, and it's, a, it's hard to get the pump set down in there with that hose, and it's, it splashed out on me. I don't want the water rolling on the beach, though. We'll see. If that don't work, I'll switch them out. And then once they grow a little bit, I'll put some more balls in there. I know they low on balls, but they, they little cuttings. But I have rooted like that before. The only thing that I'm worried about right now is it not getting warm enough for it to, uh, for it to root. But I'm going to see. But this pump also got the hoses feeling warm. So I'm thinking it's pumping warm air into the uh, deep water culture. And I had to put that by that pump separate from the, the uh, deep water culture kit. Where chronic at? Chronic likes to troll me. I, I don't know if he. Uh... Yeah, I know. I'm on with him. Once I get a, 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 a thermometer and shit in here. The ones that I got to get the cord on it, I put a sandwich baggie on the cord and I put that in my reservoir to know what the temperature of the water is. But I put a baggie over so it don't get wet. But I put that probe into the water and it, the outside temperature of the thermometer would tell me the temperature of the water. I thought about doing putting something over them, but right now I'm gonna see if they'll snap back on their own. They shouldn't need no humidity. They got, they got enough moisture. Now, like I said, I just put them in there yesterday. Some of them are popping up and standing up better than others, but I think it's the cold water that's fucking with them more than anything. The room is slowly getting warmer in here. It was cold when I first set this up, and I keep this door open to, to open it up right now so the, the ambient heat from outside will get pulled in too. So once it all gets dialed in, it'll do what it do. Now this I set up last night and it's already foaming. So it ain't that bad down here. I only got the dustpan there because that damn uh, sock I got the nutrients in was waking out and dripping out of the bucket. But I already started brewing me some teas. I got two little air stones in there. I got two air stones in there and I got one in each individual bucket. Which mean we don't follow. I pretty much got a rooting solution in the in in the nutrient line, in the in the reservoir, and so what's hitting that right now is main things to help develop roots, and that's what I got hitting those. 
So once they do root, if they do root within like a week or so, I let them grow. If they don't, then I take them out and put them other plants in there and let them veg out. Oh, you said we don't follow rules, uh, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> nah I did a super super feed please in here yesterday and I pulled and opened up the other plant some more oh shit I hate these zippers Realize this jug them busted at the bottom. I'm gonna have to switch that out. But this one I done opened up a whole bunch more. It's pretty much filled in. Yeah, that's why I figured out what you were saying. Yeah. Is that chronic this roadmaster or road music? Cause I don't see chronic no other place. I mean I would say that if I wasn't doing something right, it wouldn't be doing something right. Only thing that happened over here is that I didn't veg long enough before I flipped it because I was in a rush to see some flowers. So if I would have veg for another week or so, all this would have been a different situation because even the little small buds would have been more defined and some of the other shit that ain't even budded would have been more budded. I mean, I can't see him. I got him blocked from me, so I didn't even know he can come to my live. If I couldn't see him, good to know. <laughs> Are you telling them? <laughs> and so, like I told y'all, this one here got fucked up because my CO2 uh, busted in it and then it soaked into the smart pot and fucked the roots up. So, I've been cutting the dead areas out. And I'm going to let it finish, but I'm about to take this big light out and put it somewhere else. And put a little 100 light on it real close. But it's got some bud that survived. Yeah, I see not, KJ. But most of it died out. But I just, I, I survived, so I, I saved some of it. I'll be able to see what it tastes like in a couple weeks. But uh, the four clones that I got in there that's rooted is from this plant. The four rooted monster crop clones. Yeah, the uh, road music, this one got the, the, the CO2 generator I make it bust in it. And it soaked into the roots and killed the plant out. It was full and beautiful, whole canopy. And then it got poisoned. And now I'm just letting whatever is going to happen happen on that one. This one I had just, you know what I'm saying, didn't veg it good enough, but I'm going to veg it better. Now, back here, these two is wedding cakes. This is a wedding cake. So, this one's going to be way better than them two. This is a white runt. That's a random bag, see? I got another clone of this, and I got another clone of that in the bed. I got three clones of that. That's already pretty much vegged out. I got two and two gallon planters and one still in a cup that need to be nurtured. Uh, Road music. This is my first time growing in tents and my first time ever growing LED. I grew with high pressure sodium metal highlights for 20 plus years. Um, I bought all this stuff off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for 300 bucks. I got all the LED lights that I'm running, all the tents that I'm running. And uh, 
I got more LED lights over there in the pile. I got some more shit around here. I got uh, self-watering buckets. All that I got for $300. So when I set these up, I didn't know what light distance to have. I didn't know none of that shit. So little by little, I started getting closer and closer to the light with the plants. Just until I learned the LED situation. And then everybody talked about me being high trained and vegged, and I trained for short bushy plants. This plant was small and bushy as hell when I put it in here. It stretched out and went crazy. I was gonna put four plants in here, but I, uh, I realized that if four plants wasn't gonna fit with this go around like I got in that go around. So I just did three. And these three taking over the damn tent. So it is what it is. Galaxy Solutions, what's going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I was just showing everybody originally my, my new uh, little makeshift room over here. Yeah, I'm that guy. <laughs> Again. I was that guy on Grow Boss is fucking with the Grow Boss. That didn't mean I didn't know what I was doing. Grow Boss didn't know what I was doing. I had skills. I know how to grow. I always know how to grow. I grow my own way and do my own shit, but I ain't, I ain't killing plants. I did that to get views and get subs, and I had got about 100, 200 subs from that situation. So that's what I was doing it for. I was trying to see if they could figure out what was wrong with my plants, and nobody can tell me. Now I'm doing every variation of grow. I'm going to veg out every which way possible for everybody who don't think I can grow the way that they want to see me grow. I'm going to grow that way, and after I show that, I'm going to go back to growing my method so everybody can understand my madness. <laughs> he said, wait a minute, is this the guy from Grow Balls? <laughs> 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 when I was on the grow boss, I was growing in my attic as well, and I relocated, and now I just set back up in November. I just started growing back in November again. So this is where I'm at with my grow since November, and the clones that I bought in November had thrips, so I was battling in thrips and growing at the same time. Now, I bought those Oreos right there, them two Oreos and that Oreos was all monster crop clones. I bought them and they was, they was, had to re-veg back. That one's re-vegging way better than what's in the cups and I think it's because the soil's mixed up in that. Those are still in the regular soil that I bought them in. Originally, I buy clones and I repot them. And if I repot them, they grow different. And those ain't growing like shit. That one's growing good with my pot, my soil mix and my fertilizer mix and shit mixed into it. So it's, it's taking off a little bit better. Uh, this one and this one is clones from that plant that I said was a bag seed. Both of those are clone from that and that's a clone from it. This a clone from the white runts. This a clone from the wedding cake. Uh, this and this is clones from the Oreos from the tops of those plants I topped them and cloned them. They rooted. This is a clone from that seedling over there. And it just got rooted and it's got snapped back. That's a seedling from it's a bag seed clone. And this is a, a white uh the whites and gorilla um clone uh seedling. And that's a gorilla in the white seedling over there. Um, well, my soil mix is mainly it's uh, sunshine number four, but when I, when I make my bags, I layer it with Epsom salt, uh, dry amendments, uh, sh brown sugar, and what else? And I also use, I put this in my soil too. I sprinkle this a little bit by in the layers of it too. And then I just water until it looked like they need to be fed again. And I start top dressing. But I also use my urine. Dun, dun, dun. I use fermented urine and wood ash and veg. 
and I use all organic dry amendments and shit and, and bloom. Yeah, I use brown sugar, I use molasses, and I use honey. And I use brown sugar in a, as a in-between of molasses when it's not, I don't want to put molasses in it, but brown sugar is pretty much just sugar soaked in molasses. So I get sugar, I put a sweetener in there, and I also put molasses, uh, basis of situations, because molasses got phosphates and potash as well in it. And the sugars don't, don't break down as quick as liquid molasses. So it, it's like in the soil. And I don't do runoffs. Like I do, if I get runoff, I do a little bit for it to see that it's hitting the bottom. Or I got trays under most of the two uh, gallon pots. And I'm, I am soak through the bottom and make it soak up. Everything stays in the soil pretty much. But as I got three or four weeks left in the tents, I got to get plants ready for the next go around for the tents. And then I'm getting plants ready for whatever. And then I have clone for whatever because I'm going to keep cloning off the things and keep going and keeping my, my uh, circular uh, perpetual harvest is coming. The third tent, all the plants in the third tent are a week away from each other in bloom. I ain't know that those was revegging when I bought them. If I did, I wouldn't have got them. <clears throat> they didn't have none of the shit they had on them. They only had like some clawed up leaves, but they was green, but they was all clawed out. And all the ones that was clawed out on that one died. After I transplanted that, the clawed ones straightened out. The bigger ones was all clawed, but it straightened out with the soil. So they, they ain't did that yet. And I don't have no more sunshine than before. I got to get some more. Right now, my budget tapped out. Of putting money into this grow shit. I'm a single father, just like KJ. So I gotta pay, do, do responsibilities before I can put some more money into this right now. So everything gonna suffer if they gotta be transplanted for a while until I can get some more uh, sunshine number four. Which I'm thinking this one and that one's gonna need to be transferred, uh, transplanted real soon. Uh, let me show you. Oh, I forgot I put this wall back. I was able to move the so, uh, Those all got seeds in it. Uh, this is the only one that ain't tied down with tape. First, I got it double cupped because well, I guess I ain't got to show y'all nothing else. I got microbes in there. Uh, I'm a uh, mycorrhiza down there so when they puddle up it it mix in with the mycorrhiza and, and it wake up through the bottom and that's what it's doing for the roots I was gonna pull it out but I still will pull it out it don't matter I just broke those roots here let me get some light to the subject real quick real quick hold on uh, uh. I had to plug that up, but I'm about to unplug it because I ain't got nothing under here no more. I put everything back under the T5 because I'm using too much power. So uh, I eliminated this light, and I'm going to eliminate the big light number one until I need it. And then put light into the uh, deep water culture tent. Both the uh, both those in that cup, I've been slowly trying to get amended with uh, organic nutrients. So I'm trying to get them to pop into that, pop into the next mode. Like, cause that one over there doing real good. Oh, my shit's healthy though. <clears throat>
that's gonna be the next one to go into bloom and about another week or so from now that's gonna be a nice plant I originally topped everything at one time and everything split off and then I just took them four cuttings to send the deep water culture off of the, off the main leads so it's gonna to top off again them four cuttings to send the hydroponic system came off of that that plant the the white and uh gorilla glue so yeah i just transplanted this one and this one yesterday so they gotta get get caught up now, I put them the same time, but that one rooted faster than this one did. But they still got to re -veg. and by the time them short little ones will re-veg, they going to be out cold versus what those two doing and versus what that one over there doing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm going to keep it growing. Well, I'm, I'm pretty much going to have to move soon, so I'm in between somewhere I want to shut down and relocate and everything else, because, uh, yeah. But I'm going to keep my grow going. Now, KJ, you know, I started in November. My shit done went a long way since November. You know what I'm saying? As far as what people think I can't do. My hand was looking too big, and I had to zoom out. <laughs> Yeah, I got to go out there and shovel too. And the thing is, my shovel is in the back of my truck. So I got to unshovel it to shovel the sidewalks. But I always keep my shit shoveled. So yeah, if those do root in there, I'll just pot these and re-veg these regular and do that too because like I said these are clones from the first pot that got fucked up as half dead those are all monster crop clones from it and they all got roots in them so they good to go I just ain't transplanting them because I think I'm going to use them for hydroponic now what I did yeah, uh, yesterday is I took some uh, mycorrhizae some veg organic feed and some absin salt and a little bit of my pee pee and I fed those so because they need nitrogen to go back into vegetation state. So I started feeding them right there so they can start eating and go and re -vegging. That's why I'm trying to get them re before I actually put them into the uh, reservoirs. Nah, because you know snow could be acidic too. You can have just like you got acid rains and shit. Some snow can be bad too. And I don't trust our snow in Michigan as it is. I don't think our snow real. It, our snow got to get rained on for it to melt. They don't melt. Like if you pay attention to Michigan weather, KJ2, our snow don't go nowhere until the rain come. The rain wash it away. Yeah, I'm the PP man. And every plant I got done had PP. Only in the veg stage. Only in the veg stage. Now, uh, if you know about urine, urine is high in nitrogen. And people worried about smoking urine. And I was going to say this. If urine was still in this plant, would it look like this? Those right there, and this one's starting to get yellow. It's starting to be colored. But this one, if it was still high nitrogen in this plant, would that happen? My, is my plant's pretty? Yes, yes. But it's starting to cannibalize off itself 
And if it was high in nitrogen, it wouldn't do that. And if the nitrogen was my urine, it'd be in jet green steel. So that's with that part right there. You know? And I don't know if you followed the segment with the grow boss showed that urine is a good no nutrient and he had fed some plants with it and they 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 thrived from it. Like I say, I just didn't veg just long enough. I started back growing because I was depressed and going through some shit and was miserable. And I needed the, the, the psychological effect of watching these plants develop and grow. So when I was starting off in November, I vegged these out and flipped them in here a little soon, but I needed to see flower. But because these was vegging and these was vegging, these vegged out a lot different. So I got it going on now. And if I had four of these sitting in there, that motherfucker would be a monster. And that's the thing is, is those are week Saturday they go into week six so week six this Saturday will this be week five this would be week four and this would be week three and you can't damn near tell the difference no you can tell the difference on that one but these two here Yeah, man, um, you know, I got a depressed-ass life. My life stressed out, depressed and shit. And uh, I know I needed the psychological situation of watching these plants grow. So I was rushing into getting them to a stage where I can see this part, this and what's in the other tents. So now that I got this, I always have it because I'm going to put some more into bloom so I can see some more grow. So I just got to get, I'm about to take that one out the tent number one that's all fucked up and put some other shit in there to bloom it. But I needed this. So I rushed into blooming, didn't veg long enough, and things didn't get out, they didn't come out right. Now if this one was laid out like the other one was in there, this would be a nice ass plant. If I would have spread it out and maybe do a week of this, not even a week. Cause I, this was real small and, and low to the damn earth when I put it in here and it took the fuck off. Welcome Dab's Dimensions. Appreciate you, appreciate you. So, everybody say my shit wasn't gonna grow, my shit was little, my shit was this. I grow this way for a reason, and I'm always gonna grow short and bushy. Mr. Fucker, what's up, my baby? You ready, Mr. Fucker? I was fucked up is this light, you know, I bought a whole bunch of lights as a package deal. I don't even know how many watts this light is. There's nowhere on here. And the uh, the driver is cased inside. So I can't see how many watts it is. But I imagine it's like maybe a 200 watt light. But I got this temporarily, just so I could get these, if I could get these to root. Mr. Fucker, I just took a... Uh, yeah, I had the, the first tent. I, I took these right now. I took these cuttings and just stuck them in here and see if I could get them rooted with the deep water culture and the hydroponic, like I was in the arrow clone pretty much. And if I could do that, then I'm gonna veg these four out, but I got four uh, monster crop clones from the plant that got poisoned to put in here.
I don't know. Um. Um. Uh, the plant. The plant got poisoned because I got um, CO two generators. Um, with like sugar, yeast, and uh, water, and what the jug blew up in here, and it's in a smart pot. So, if, like when I had this and one of these in here, and I had the top, I had the tops like loosened so they can seep out the gas. Where I guess it blew up and like volcanoed out. So when I came in here, it was a puddle, but it soaked into the roots, and then most of the plant died. And at the time period, this was a big, full plant, healthy as hell. So I've been taking the dead areas out. And so it's a still a couple live areas on it. And this was uh, uh, the white Gorilla Glue. So it got poisoned and fucked up. But I got four cuttings off of here that I'd already cloned. That was monster crop clones from the shit that there was at the bottom that's already rooted that I was gonna put in the deep water culture if the ones I got in there don't take. Yeah, I know, Mr. Fucker, I ain't tripping. I, that's why at first I was keeping it zipped up because I wasn't trying to hear the negativity. Then it is what it is. I ain't tripping. I don't give a fuck what people say. So, yeah. And then uh, Bud for Hazardous told me about putting the balloons on it so the balloons with holes in the tip of them It'll keep it from overflowing and, and getting too much pressure. Appreciate you, appreciate you. It's only going to get better. Like I said, I just learned how this is my first time growing in tents, and this is my first LED grow ever. Like, I grew with high-pressure Sony and Metal Highly for 20 years. Like, I never grew with LED. So I had to plant the lights all the way up because I was, didn't want to damage the, the plants. So little by little, I started dropping the lights to the point that I got this one pretty much as close as it could possibly be, I would think, for what the wattage is, and it's not damaging shit. So, from this point on, I think I should have some successful ass runs. Once I get the deep water culture dialed in, I'm gonna have that to get big yields out of, and I'm gonna have this for, for my craft art, for my, my craft marijuana. Yeah, I had miniature pools that was, uh, I grew in the miniature pools with the same soil for almost five years. It was no-till organics. They had worms and everything in them. And at the harvest, them scrogs was 10 inches from the ground with a whole canopy of buds. Originally, I was going to put the uh, uh, deep water culture in here. I had started setting shit up in here, but it's too cold in here. This is a little cubby hole up under my front porch, and the, 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 the uh, walls give out radiant coldness, and it was never going to warm up in there at all. That's why I ended up building that over there, which in the original grow upstairs in my pools, that's how my grow room was made pretty much with it stapled up from the rafters of my attic. I didn't never have a real grow room. It was a makeshift grow room in my attic. Like everything I do is different. Everything I do is me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I don't know if y'all know, I think it's Kelly Green or Kelly Grow. The guy, he, he, he famous on YouTube and we was talking the other day and he asked me if what was my uh, supposed of, uh, organic nutrients. Like I didn't know what organic nutrients was. And I've been fucking with organic nutrients for years. And I've been a landscaper for years. Yeah, you you pay if you was with the pools. It's been about six years. I say it's Hank, huh, Mister Fucker? You are you know what he is, huh? <laughs> you must have saw our conversation. Oh, 
Oh, you the one that started the gyms. Now, I think I remember you because uh, Twisted Roots was saying you was going to get mad at me because I didn't believe that theory at the time. And I still really can't really, you know. But I know about the, the electricity and the, the, the power, the, you know, the energies that's in the air and shit. And um, uh, Medical Fit, he was here earlier. He, he just did a segment about having uh, like pretty much like a lightning rod in the soil to collect electricity out the air and put it into the root zone. But uh, Twisted was a little, uh, a little crazy with the situation and I, me and him fell out for a few different reasons because I didn't believe his methods. And also he said, oh wait, you had, but you was growing tomatoes and shit with it, right? You say broccoli, but I think the main talk was tomatoes. But Twisted was making it saying that you didn't have to feed it nothing at all other than putting the, the stem, the gems around the plant and frequency. And that's the thing is, is I always said that Twisted gained his 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 clout from Goliath. He piggyback piggybacked off of Goliath uh, followers and grew off of that, just like he trying to do off of people now, like Cat Carl with a K. I know Carl with a K here, but Twisted Roots got Carl with a K in his mouth like it's a penis. Yeah, I figured that's who you were. I got I know who you are now. But like I say, he, as you would know, if you know, if you, if you went through with that with him, you know, he would proclaim something and try to uh, switch it around and make it his own. So if you came with something that was effective for working, he altered it. So the, uh, the, the patent numbers was a little different and made it sound a little different and made it not work the same, if you get what I'm saying. He took shit from me too. Yeah, but everything Twisted says is from him taking knowledge from other people. Now it's a difference if he took information and said, I gained this information from such and such, but he takes it as like he's a mad scientist. And every which way possible, he does that with everybody's theories and, and methods and techniques that might be successful or look good. He take it and try to patent it for himself. Yeah, I know. I remember he had he had whining noises and shit playing in his backyard to his plants and stuff. I remember some noises that if I heard it, I'd lose my damn mind. And he was sitting there listening to it, and I think he lost his damn mind. <laughs> he didn't say Goliath stole from him. Goliath had a whole different level of grow every which way possible. Indoors, outdoors, sideways, upside down. Goliath had skills. Goliath made some pretty ass weed. Goliath did some shit. Goliath made sweet ass greenhouses. Goliath had sweet indoor grows. That motherfucker did a whole different level. That's fucked up. He can even try to say that. Uh, KJ, did you ever see Twisted's old girlfriend, Big, uh, 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 Big Nugs, or what was her name? Big Nugs. Little, purity little Spanish bra. I don't know, I don't think he got no neighbors. I think he out, like, in the fucking rural area, and he by the highway or some shit. I, don't know. I remember one time he was tweaking saying somebody was trying to get his plants and he was jumping fences and shit and right on the other side of the pine trees it was a highway so he, I don't think nobody's around him but he remember he was saying somebody was trying to get his plants
Yeah. She was happy last time I seen her. She had got it with another dude. I think he was a grower too. Had a whole bunch of pit bulls and shit. But I ain't seen her. I had her on Instagram for a little while, but I ain't seen her in some years now. Nah. Oh, here's Glizzy Waters. Trying to make fun of my plants, are ya? Hell, even the chick he with now, I know she got to be losing his her mind. He looked crazy. He looked like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde still stuck in between the transition. <laughs> He don't know if he coming or going. Oh, so you was around with Goliath back then. Okay, I ain't know that, KJ. Peace, Mr. Fucker. Be, be safe, my baby. Have a blessed day. So yeah, my next go around, I'm going to do this scrog again, but I'm going to veg it better. So all these little tops here get chances to actually get, a, you know, a cola on it, a, a, a nice little node so it develop better. And I might only do two or three in here because if it looked like anything like the other tent, then it's going to be something different. So I'm going to get it all better the next go around. This scrog has not been moved since it's been set in place, though. Other than I had scooted these plants over a couple weeks after I flipped them and pulled them closer this way, because these was growing to them <clears throat> too soon, and then they stopped. They stopped stretching. So, oh, I got a black amount in my pocket. That sounds delicious right now. I know making that, that damn room and shit, I did it last night. I ain't really went to sleep. But that shit had me dusty and fucked up and a lot of spider webs. I was sweeping. It was all nasty. I'm wondering if I should eliminate some more of these little small buds or if I should just let them do what they doing. Like I said, this is what, week four? That's week four. Six, five, four, yeah, week four on this. Yeah, so this would be the week I need to clean shit out of it if I was going to clean it up, clean it up. But I might just let it go. And then it's also starting to eat off itself down at the bottom where it's not getting much nutrients or no light to exchange for the nutrients. Oh, okay. Yeah, these got about three weeks here. These these four here, they're at week six. I don't know if they were well, they going into week six tomorrow. And I don't know if they're eight or nine week plants. I know that's a wedding cake and this is a uh, Mac one. I had them backwards before, but I seen uh, um, medical fits uh, Mac ones and these look like his. All these would be done in three weeks. This one I ain't really worried about. I just want to see how it smoked, but like I said, I got clones from that one. I got clones from that. This is the only one I don't got clones from, and I don't really like the profile, the smell, or anything about it. So I'm not really trying to fuck with it. I got this strand to keep alive. I got this strand to keep alive. I got that strand to keep alive. And I got that strand to keep alive. Then I got more seeds that I'm sprouted. And I got the Oreos that hasn't got put in circulation yet. Uh, I used to have sherbet. I used to have orange sherbet uh, back in my old girl. 
Bowen Sherbert and Sunset Sherbert. I would say I think this motherfucker acting like an indica. It's staying tight. That's the other plan. This motherfucker. Right here, I've been taking these and alternating them to get them to get trained a little bit. Like this one was. Oh, no, not that one. This one was up here. But I put it back out because it's holding up. Now it was low down to the bottom. Like this low one right here, I end up taking like that for a while and get it trained to stand strong. And then I flip it back out. And then some of these, the branches branched out and put tops. Where they at? I can't move these motherfuckers. Oh, those are all single limbs. Let me space those out. Damn, that's a lot of shit over there. Like this one here, the tops are already done start stretching out and becoming a bud site. I need to open that up for this layers of limbs over there. And I don't even know how I'm going to do it. Let me pull this one up here for right now. Say this one here. I'll pull up here too right now. Like so. Matter of fact, let me do this. Put that over there. And then this one. I'll pull here. And that spreads everything open a little bit better. Chat. Irene's breath times OJ uh, OG, OG Kush. That was I had smell like sherbet. I read that. I had stiff built original stinky Larry. C NC nice nice. Why you change your damn name so much? I wonder if I should take this one and put it there. Yes, I should. I should. I should. What else should I pull over there? I should pull this one over there too. Just like that, yeah. Fill that void in a little bit. Yeah. I was gonna put the second trellis on there, but I don't think they keep them. I think they're gonna be able to hold themselves up. But I got another trellis to put up, and I don't think they're gonna get much taller. That one stretched up like a motherfucker, though. Ooh, it's gonna be some pretty weed. It's gonna be so pretty. I think I need to do some defoliating. Another two weeks, this tent gonna be pretty. It's gonna start budding up, budding up. These are all still caps. Even that one, that one ain't started doing shit yet. Wait till it start budding up. It's weed for days though. See the legs? 
<laughs> what pigs? What's up, Natalie? Appreciate you stopping by. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, I say we about the same stage in the, uh, the other tents. I got about three weeks to go. He's got about three weeks to go. Yeah, none of my shit got legs. This one, if it didn't get sick and fucked up. That's the only one that got some kind of leg. And that's a seed. kind of cold in here. That's a uh, root agent that's got on there. I was trying to spray it. Let me try to spray it again. I tried to spray that root agent off of it. Wait till I veg this one out the next go round of that uh white runts. The, the, that short one in the left corner of that tent. This is the white runts right here. Yeah, uh like I say, the one that got sick, they got they got poison. Those are all monster crop clones from that. That's uh that's monster uh that's the white and and, and and gorilla glue, just like that one is over there. Um This is uh white runts, the one that's in the far left, I mean the closest left corner of the tent number three. That's uh wedding cake. This is a seedling, the seedling in tent number three. That's from seedling tent number three. That's from seedling tent number three. That's the Oreos that when I bought the clones, they was monster crop. That's the Oreos, that's the Oreos. That's the tops from them two right there that's rooted and cloned. And this is the, the, the top of that plant, the middle uh, cola from that plant of the white and uh, Gorilla Glue. And it's another seed, man. That's another seed, man. Like I said, I ain't got no more soil, so these gonna veg for another week or so in here. And then I go get some more sunshine number four and transplant the bushier plants and then let the rest veg out for a while. But I want to get them Oreos out of them cups because I need to get them in some better soil. They, they would have grow a lot better if they was transplanted, just like that one did. Oh, that floor came with that. This is my basement. This is like a stick down linoleum, pretty much. But it came like this when I moved here. But this is all in my basement. 
On the other side is all my tools and shit that I keep scattered around because I can't keep the lawnmowers and shit in my garage. They get stolen. Well, they might not get stolen here. They get stolen at my old house because I got a couple lawnmowers stole from me. You know, I, I, I do landscape and home improvement. And I saw somebody talking shit about you, KJ, saying that you cut grass or something. <laughs> Plus <some> weed. <laughs> I ain't laughing at you. I'm laughing at the motherfuckers being stupid as hell. <laughs> This plant was struggling for a while. It's still kind of fucked up, but I also think it's because I had a whole bunch of weeds growing in it like it actually was challenging and battling for life. But it's starting to come back and it's vegging out good. And like I said, it's the seed that cloned from the seedling in tent number three. I had everything on the floor. And I ain't like how shit started stretching, trying to get closer to the light, so I put everything back on top of cups. But once these start vegging back, they gonna be some nice little, nice little monster crops. They already start growing a little bit. New growth won't be uh, bud. It won't focus though. trying to see which one got the most roots so you can see little stubbles coming out of them but you can't see them good I can see them I know they got roots they've been out like that for three days now so I've been feeding and watering them once they dry out all the way the roots will shoot again But those are the ones really for the deep water culture. So the cuttings that I took off of there and just stuck them raw in there, don't take, I'm gonna put those in there. And they, they'll take for sure. Only thing is I'm not sure if I should put them in there with that rock wool. But I'm thinking as long as fresh water and oxidized water is going through the rocks, rock wool, it should be okay. I think people used to grow hydro and rock wool. I ain't got no weed down here. What the weed in the What the hell? I'm gonna try to hit this damn roach though. So yeah, that's what I got going on. I got my deep water culture going in over there. I'm gonna figure out how to, uh, I might get a, 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 a duck work, some tubing, and go in there and take this heat vent to go in there and pull some heat in there with a fan to warm it up. I got a little fan up here right now. Everything's rigged up, people. Everything's rigged up. There wasn't no plugs in the basement, so I took, cords from another spot and I hooked up a plug to it and I just drilled a plug into the wall right there I mean to the ceiling to brace it and that's what I got the light plugged into and the fan plugged into and I'm gonna put a timer on the light and then I took this other plug that was a wire hanging in the basement and I ran this wire in here and put a plug into it and screwed into the 2x4 right there and my 2x4s is just a little framework to hold my plastic up so it is what it is. And then to hold the plastic in, 
I took these here pieces of cardboard and I uh, took my brad nailer these right here and that's what I tacked the uh, plastic up with the same thing that I did here that's what's holding this up and all I did is I took the plastic wrapped it around the two by fours measured it cut it start stapling it up there stapled it all the way around then I took a slit cut a slit here there's another layer that goes in between the slit to cover up the door though so when I want to close it up right now I got this here and then I got this over here holding everything open. And the hose is in the way. The hose is in the way. So when I want to close it, I close it up like that there. Want no light leak? It look like it will, but it won't because even when uh, I ain't down here, this would be dark. And then the tents would be closed up. There won't be no light. So yeah. watts that light is it's temporary I might take uh, four 100 watt lights and put a 100 watt light up over each plant or I might take the light that's in tent number one and put it in here and maybe put that in this one in there I don't know but it's not gonna be this light I don't know what wattage I'll put that light is I have no way of determining it what's up girl growing up No, nah, that's just regular uh, plastic. I ain't got no panda film up, but on the inside, uh, even like what Medical Fit said, I end up putting uh, mylar up, the uh, emergency blankets for reflecting. I just bought, I just built this room yesterday, so I'm gonna put some reflecting up in here, just so I can reflect the light. But I really don't worry about that light either, as long as the light close to the plants once they start growing as close as possible but right here i'm gonna put uh emergency blankets up for reflecting and on these walls this is a little about 250 dollars setup with the that cost 75 dollars i think that was 30 dollars to pump and i bought a 14 dollar uh hose kit which was uh with the air stones and shit and everything else came with the deep water culture setup. Right now, everything good enough for what I'm trying to do right now to happen. I'm trying to get those cuttings to root like a deep water culture cloner. And then if they root, I'm gonna just grow those out of them. I'm gonna take those out and put some more root clones in it. But I also think I put too much molasses in it. But it's dark from the molasses and it's dark from the kelp. But I still think I put too much molasses in it. So I'm going to put some more water in it later on. Or I might take some of this and put it in there. Which is a tea, a compost tea. Which has got uh, organic uh, dry amendments, worm castings, and um, absent salt in it. And molasses, of course which is already starting to bubble up a little bit. So later on in the day, it should be active. 
which I was going to use to feed the veg plants. I'm going to start brewing teas now that I got me an air pump. So I'm going to brew that tea. And anything that's dry in here when that tea is ready, I'm going to feed it. I tell everybody this is the space up underneath my basement stairs. So I, I had closed this in originally so I can com control the uh, humidity and shit for the veg area versus having a big room or a big open space. So I tarped this out and made it into my veg area. So yeah, that's my grow. I'll show the buds and shit one more again. I'm getting hungry. All I had was a cappuccino uh, energy drink this morning. Early, early this morning. Yep. That's the thing is, anything I, you know, I, my my original grow in my attic was pretty much a, a makeshift room that was plastic um, stapled to the rafters in my attic and then i made a t support for the air condition with through the rafters and supported the air condition and then it had a pool or a bucket underneath that to catch the uh condensation drips and then i made a manifold that took the heat off of the air condition and put it back in the grow room in the winter time to heat up the plants. So now I've got all this veg in. I'm going to try to get a good perpetual harvest going. And I'm going to get the deep water culture going. And then I'm going to veg things out different for different spots and different places so they grow different and people can see I can grow different. Yeah. Notifications. All right, so I'll show you the bud again. I started back up in November. I was depressed and going through some shit, and I needed some 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 mental uh, stimulation. So I, I took this grow, and I flipped these early because I needed to be able to see some flower bloom. But now I see some pretty, pretty flowers blooming. I'm going to try to get some bigger yields. <clears throat> but it smells damn good in this motherfucker, I tell you that. I know I need to clean this tent up. I got mold growing on my floor and everything from mycelium and, and, and mycorrhizae spilling and all kind of shit. I'm doing what I do, KJ. I do what I do. I mean, that's the thing is, even like it looks like it's pathetic, but it's bud down there. It's still bud growing. It's bud, it's bud, it's bud. There's even nugs down there looking like that right there. That shit in there. I ain't tripping. They got three weeks to go for everything to pumping up and ripen up. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be decent. I know this shit oily as hell. I used to show this outside, uh, KJ. What's up, indoor baby, you good? I used to show like this outside and Buzzville used to say I was putting magnifying glasses and shit on my weed.
Yeah, I want to be blazing. All my weed is upstairs, though. <laughs> I ain't got much as it is today. I got to get some more. Yeah, this shit pretty. It's damn pretty. It's damn pretty. I don't know what that little speckle. Why well, it's something white like an ash or something on there. It ain't going to go off, though. I can't even flick it off. It's damn pretty. And KJ, like I was saying, too, is that my plants wouldn't be yellowing like that if there was a whole bunch of nitrogen left in my plants, which is the main reason for I me mean, using my nitrogen nutrient. But if there was nitrogen left in there, they wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, uh, indoor, you better not be buying weeds. You got a, 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 a ultimate supply. If my grow was doing as good as your grow, I wouldn't be buying weed either. Who you talking about, Glizzy? Nah, this ain't the CO2. This is the one the CO2 spilled in. As you can see, it's cleaned up. It's a whole bunch of uh, gnats on the ground in here, though, for me putting the mothballs in here and killing the gnats. Like, it's a pile of nets I got to clean up over there. That's all nets. Some molasses and shit. Look. But uh, this is the one that spilled out. That was from my last feeding of molasses right there. But it was a puddle in here, and it soaked into this plant and poisoned the roots. And that's why this one all fucked up. And I've been cutting all the dead bud sites off just to try to get some of the bud to finish. And some of the bud finishing all right. And if it was all like that, I'd be happy if I had a cold canopy of nugs like that off of it. And that was a seed that I trained and it was all full and green and everything to that damn uh, CO2 generator exploded. Mothballs work good for gnats, thrips, uh, spider mites, uh, 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 russet mites. Every bug I get, I use mothballs. Yeah, that's one of the controversies of what people say and don't do, don't listen to me and everything else. So I have to show literature what mothballs do and don't do to plants and won't affect the plant unless it's touching the plant. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually can soak into the stem with this touching, but it don't do anything being airborne and fumigating shit. So it's, it's a whole bunch of dead uh, gnats in here, but it's also spills because this pot was over flooded. Like it was too much. You can see the mold on top of the damn soil. Damn. Ain't that something? I put I put mothballs in the pots, but I don't I put a like you can see one right there. It's been in there. Well, can you see it? Where'd it go? Oh there it go right there. It's been in there and it's dissolving. And I put it underneath because I had thrips. So I put it so if the thrips came out the soil or came like if it's on the soil, the thrips won't come out the soil. And then also the fumes will come up underneath the canopy and fuck with them that way too. But I also take them and I put them on a the fan and close the tents up and, and make it so it fumigates. If I leave it in the tents for a couple hours, it get like like uh, uh, smoky in the tents from the, from the fumes.
Oh, do I put them in my pots? Oh, that's what you were trying to say. Yeah, I put them in my pots. I put like three in the pots and you know, sec spread them or spread them wide, you know, you know, around the diameter of the pots. And they don't soak it. I water with them in there, everything. If they was gonna kill my plants, they would have been killed, all of them. Because each one of these motherfuckers got three in them and I don't take them out to water. Uh, you can see the one right there that's down there covered up in that one. Can you see it? Where is it at? Right there, a little white spot. It's pretty much covered up with soil from me re-amending the soil. Uh. It's in the soil. I'm gonna veg out a little longer next time. Um, seaside drift, I'm not gonna stop using them. No, 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 no. I'm gonna use my mothballs. The mothballs don't affect my plants at all. They don't affect the flowers at all. Then it kills almost everything. Well, they killed everything I done tried to kill with it. And it costs $6. I done had this bag, I got, Two bags of mothballs that cost six dollars a piece, and I done had these bags for three months, going on four months. <laughs> that nigga said you caught the, you need to let the dog out the cage. Huh? I'm calling it, calling the pal. My dog runs free, my baby. I can call my dog right now and she'll come. Hey! Watch this. She don't know where I'm at. Ooh. Another in the cage. Okay, calm down. You're going to make a mess down here. Everybody, meet Sasha. Say hi, Sasha. Say hi, Sasha. Come on with your happy ass. Say hi, Sasha. She's a piehead. Upstairs, go upstairs, go. Go upstairs, go. Go upstairs, go lay down. Go, go upstairs. Well, now you wanna stay down here cause I done called your ass. See what y'all done made me do. Go, go upstairs. I'm still mad at you. Remember you went and you took the chicken bone? You took the chicken bone out the garbage. Remember you took the chicken bone out the garbage? Then you take the chicken bone out the garbage? Bad girl. Go lay down. That my baby, but she's still bad. She can be two miles away from me. I can make that call and she'll come. There's a few dogs that'll come for that call. I got other people dogs that respond to that call. She in the dog house cause she uh, snatched a chicken bone out the garbage the other day. Cause my daughter's been feeding her and now she think everything hers. And she was slick with it, was taking off running. Um, KJ, you okay? Or is there somebody here that I can't see that you talking to? Oh, you calling KJ? Hey, y'all don't start that shit on my channel. Only I can start that shit on my channel. Oh, you going at it with Glizzy. Who in the fuck is Glizzy, KJ? Who 
the fuck is DJ Ronnie? What's a little girl, Glizzy? Because I fuck 25-year-olds all day, every day. I'm 47. What's a little girl, uh, uh, Glizzy? Oh, that's who that is? <laughs> What's a little girl, Glizzy? Uh, I need to know because, you know, I, I, I fuck young, young adults all day, every day. Eighteen legal any goddamn way, goddamn. Why they got so many uh, uh, barely eighteen pornos or 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 barely eighteen uh, uh, content providers? If if, if if that's so crucial, out of everything, seventeen to get you twenty, eighteen to get you plenty of coochie. I ain't know that was him. He coming over. He he trolling me on a different profile, huh? And came. He don't even fuck with me. That's what's fucked up. Cause the if that's Doctor Tricones, me and him don't get along. He don't come talking shit to me though. What you think, Sasha? What you think about it, Sasha? You trying to ease your butt back over here? Sasha's a pothead. I think she smelled the weed and don't want to leave. This dog irritates the shit out of me. <laughs> you a pain in my ass, Sasha. Hey, listen, when I'm smoking, she come and sit like how she sit next to me right now and wait for me to blow smoke at her. She either lick the smoke or she sniff real hard until she starts sneezing and she get about two or three good hits and go lay down. We got it. I'm fucking pothead. Like she don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you a pothead. <laughs> Try to play it off. <laughs> She's trying to play it off. Come on now. First of all, we are a weed community. We are supposed to be growing weed, showing our techniques, showing our styles, helping somebody that might not know as much as us, doing shit. Y'all scare people away from the community, being as patty as the fuck y'all have been. I walked away from some patty shit and came back to a damn storm of pettiness. We all grown as fuck. Out of everything, I don't give a fuck what nobody say about me, my plants, what pussy I get, none of that shit, because ain't nobody paying my bills, ain't nobody putting no gas in my trucks, ain't nobody paying my water bill to water these plants, the electricity bill to, to light these plants, ain't nobody motherfucking paying my trick fare, ain't nobody doing nothing to fucking influence my motherfucking life. This nigga said your boy gave the green light to beat your ass. Huh. 
Lord, help us. Jesus, help us. Take the wheel. I didn't know I can do that all this time. KJ, you got the power now. What kind of comment is that? Have a good day driving your truck around. The fact that he can drive and has a truck, I don't get that. I have a truck. I drive my truck around. But it's snowing outside, so it ain't fun because my front wheel drive is fucked up for the 4 by 4 So I can't do what I need to do and try to either fix the drive axle or the tra uh, transfer case. I don't know because I ain't fucked with it yet. I have a Sandy Chivarado. She's still over here froze, waiting for some weed. She on some real bullshit. <laughs> you ain't never just sitting here this damn calm. <laughs> That's my baby though. The thing is, my baby mama bred her and gave us to gave this dog to us a couple months before she passed away. So it's just like the last thing my baby mama gave to me and my daughters. And so we kind of cherish her, and she part of the family. <laughs> that was an ass comment for show for show. <laughs> hey, say, hey, KJ, say thank you. <laughs> I say, here, nigga, you deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you got the power. <laughs> no, no, I was just talking about her little slick ass. I think she waiting for me to find some weed up because she ain't never sat this calm. And then when she smell weed, she comes sit next to me and she's smelling weed right now. And I don't think she can separate the concept of smoke weed and growing weed. Cause she acted real calm, waiting for her little blast. Oh no, uh, road music. I've been a single father for eight years, but my kid's mother, she was on drugs and shit. She passed away two years ago. Um, she was she had she had, was in jail for four and a half months. She can't got out. She came to see the girls like the day after she got out of jail, and then she stayed the night. And then she woke up saying that she needed to go get a phone. And I'm telling her that anything she need a phone for, she don't need to fuck with right now. She need to get to know her kids and stay clean and shit. And she was dead three days later. <laughs> well KJ I, that's why I stopped fucking with everybody right now cause certain things irritate me and, and make me flare up and I don't like acting like an ass on, on nobody panel and even like even on the, on the karaoke things it's just like they know how to shut me down or kick me off the panel for talking about certain things like talking about old boy saying the n-word and his music and asking if he wrote it or not. 
and that's like controversy of a black person asking that but it's okay for him to say it and i got kicked off the panel for acts of bringing that up and so i haven't been there been back there since then Yeah, she never was actually clean road, uh, road music. She was only in jail for four and a half months, and when she got out, went straight back to doing dope. You know what I'm saying? And she ended up smoking some crack laced with fentanyl, and her heart blew up. She was only 29 years old. My baby mama only be 31 right now, and I'm 47. And I got two daughters that I'm a single father to that's 10 and 13 from that situation. This motherfucker came with another profile. Hey, uh, Tricones, that, that, that's showing that you got a chemical imbalance, my baby, for you to do shit like that now. I don't know how old you are, but you're not acting like a grown motherfucking man, and you're not acting like a black grown motherfucking man either at this point. You're doing some real lame shit on, that, on, this, on this time period now. On everything. Like, I'd every which way possible to come and, like, have profile after profile, profile. And you keep coming back for some shit talking about you can't get rid of me. That's some female type shit, bro. No matter if that nigga fucking 18 year old or not, it's, it feel like you fucking yourself. Because that ain't normal. I, 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 I don't come around to panels that you own. And I don't even fuck with Grokoski. Because he got a little fucking little salt in his goddamn blood, too. And not everything. That shit got to stop, man. We all fucking grown. Oh, I'm, I'm Gucci. You know, I got seven kids. I got five grown boys. Uh, my life as a single father has not been ha uh, easy at, at all. Like, I've been through some tri trials and tribulation over and over and over again. To the point that I done been in the dark for a year and a half at a time. Um, to tell y'all, that's why my growth stopped when I first, when I was growing last year or two years ago. When it stopped, it's because my power got turned off and I wasn't able to get it back on. So I had to stop growing. Um, I relocated and went through some shit. My truck got totaled last, uh, last June. I went for months without a truck. I just got one in like January. But uh, I don't have no friends or family because my baby mama was on drugs and everybody that wanted to fuck my baby mama gave her drugs and fuck my baby mama. And I don't know who didn't fuck my baby mama, so I stopped fucking with everybody. And so like when I say I started this back up because I needed to see this because my life is in shambles. I needed to see this no matter what the fuck it was costing utility wise, whatever. I needed to see some plants grow to keep my mind from snapping. Yeah, man, that's some petty ass childish shit, KJ. And then, you know, I, I I address shit accordingly. You know how I am. Like no matter what it is or who it is or what they saying or where they say it, I address that shit because it's ignorant as hell. It's it's asinine, and it's even worse that it's us doing it to us. You feel what I'm saying? It's one thing if other people are doing it, but it's us doing it to us. That's a whole nother level because us trying to get down with them. That's crazy. I ain't actually to be cool with them. I didn't even know who the fuck that was. You see who I had to, once I started picking up certain things, I started to figure out that might have been who I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, roll music, I, I like I said, and the thing about it is, is you know, I, just like, what, like KJ, me and KJ live in the same neighborhood, same area, same city. But uh, I'm different, you know what I'm saying? I'm different mentally, mind-wise, uh, education-wise, how I carry myself-wise to the average person around me. I'm, I have a prejudice on, on me against my, my own people prejudice against me because I'm not like them, you know what I'm saying? And even friends that I was cool with, say for instance, I had a friend that when I was going through the situation with my baby mama, I had a friend that was in prison the whole time. So, like, I couldn't wait for him to get out because I know he was the only motherfucker for sure that didn't fuck with her because he was gone. You know what I'm saying? So, when he came around and saw I was a single father, first thing he said to me is like, damn, I, always, I forgot you was always different. 
I said, what that mean? He goes, I forgot you were trying to take care of your babies and be a single father with that type of situation. I said, bro, if your kids was going to get took to the state or they was fucking going through some shit, you wouldn't step up? He goes, hell no. Nah. I got shit I got to do. I got to live my own life, blah, 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 blah. And that was a judgment against me for some shit that he wouldn't do that I did do. Um, same person, I was growing weed in his backyard and I was telling them about the compost teas and the feed and what they do and when to feed and shit like that. And he said to me, man, I see why niggas don't like your smart ass. You smart for no reason. And I wasn't being a smart ass or being sarcastic. I wasn't talking shit. I was trying to get my, at the time, kind of grow partner to learn how to grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving them some insight. And it was an insult. Like anything that I do in the hood is an insult because I know things that the average hood nigga don't know. I will say I don't, I don't I don't agree with people talking about people kids. I say that too, you know what I'm saying? Because kids ain't got nothing to do with none of it. But all the pettiness need to stop all the way around the table. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time period, wives and kids should be off the table if they ain't, if they ain't out here saying shit. You know what I'm saying? If his wife ain't coming on the panel talking shit, y'all shouldn't be talking about his wife. I don't know who his wife is, what his wife looked like, or whatever, but that ain't right either. Especially kids. Kids are innocents. That's no different than doing a drive-by. The kids is off limits. You know what I'm saying? But all the shit that everybody going through and back and forth, and trust me, I, I uh, you know, I cut into Budsville about a lot of shit that he do and who he talk about and how he talk about him and all that shit. And Budsville has been Budsville since Budsville was Budsville. So at the same time period, I know that you really can't penetrate Budsville. Budsville gonna do him regardless. He's got a chemical imbalance within himself. But to be affiliated with him or associating with him or tag teaming with him is saying something about somebody, you know, yourself at the same time. Nah, if you're talking about his dead wife, that grounds some straight up motherfucking termination, my dog. Like, it's the same difference as me talking about my baby mama. My baby mama could have been a crack whore. She could have been a heroin head. She could have been all kind of different things in my mind. But at the same time period, that's still my baby mama. So at the same time period, I will be affected, ready to defend and, and, and attack for somebody disrespecting my kid's mother. That's like talking about my kids in general. So if you're talking about a dead woman, rest her soul, you're talking about him, you're talking about his kids, you're talking about everybody. PMG is on a different level. He don't try to be in the middle of all that shit for one thing. Uh, Buzzville, that's a whole nother story. Buzzville attack and go for anybody he could possibly get a, a rise out of. Out of every which way possible. I dealt with Buzzville six years ago. What's, who is twin now? <laughs> I got to laugh at that one, KJ. And for you to say Buzzville, cool. You you do look kind of goofy, my dog. You, you, Buzzville is tolerable because you just got to tolerate him because he is who he is. But he ain't cool by any means. Every person he ever been cool with, he done got beefed out with. He done got cool with people he was beefed out with before he was cool with.
Oh, Muslim twin Jesus, I got you. Cheers, my baby. But Buzzfield ain't never been right. Buzzfield been going after people and attacking people and trying to talk shit about people weed and all kind of shit for six years. That motherfucker had the worst whiskey looking bud in the fucking YouTube world and tried to criticize somebody else's weed. And he tried to criticize people's lives. I ain't never going to give up a Buzzfield telling people I sold a bicycle for $25 worth of crack. And everybody believed him. So I'd air it which way possible. And at that, at, every time I bring that up, won't nobody make him retract that, apologize for that, say anything about that, none of that shit. And everybody know it is a lie. He told he 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 shows it a lie when he brags about the video I made about me putting the bicycle in the garbage six or eight months later. So every which way possible, Buzzfield is tainted. That's just because Buzzfield was helping anybody that had a problem with Gigi. He wasn't helping you to help you. He was he was he had somebody to help him team up against Gigi. It was a manipulation for the situation. Where did I put my black and mild? My black and mild is in my bed. <clears throat> you got to read into it in that direction. Buzzfield didn't help you. He pulled you in to help him. He said, damn, I fell for it. You an asshole. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, KJ. You know, I done been in Oakland County Jail a lot, right? So, say for instance, I got put in there. I ain't had no money on my books, you know, I done been on my knuckles a couple times. But I go around at the pod, you know what I'm saying, with 34 inmates in the pod, I'm hungry as fuck. You know what I'm saying, and it's gonna be, it's gonna make sense to you, you gotta listen now, you gotta listen. So I sit there, I say, damn, I'm hungry as fuck, I'm gonna get something to eat. So I go around and I go to a nigga, I say, hey bro, what you got on the cook up? My man say, oh, I got a summer sausage, I say, all right. I go to another person. I said, bro, what you got on the cook-up? Well, I got some squeezed cheese and some Doritos. All right. I said, bro, what you got on the cook-up? Sure, I got two pickles. I got a Raymond noodles. I got such and such. I said, all right. I said, man, what you got on, what you got on the cook-up? He said, man, I got some sandwich breads from the trays. I got some, uh, 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 I got a couple break pads, which is like the Salisbury steak patties. You know what I'm saying? Such, 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 such. So I got about eight motherfuckers together, right? We done made this uh, stratificant ass cook up. We eating good to the motherfucker. Got sandwiches with mouth full of food, wides in our jaws. And motherfucker look at me and say, bruh, what the hell did you put in on this cook up? I said, bruh, I put time and effort. And everybody looked at me and said, ain't that by the motherfucker? Ain't that nothing that they can do at the time period because we all was eating at that time. But I'm the one that orchestrated the whole cook up and didn't have shit to put on the cook up. So I want you to think about that with, uh, with, 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 with what I'm saying about Buzzville. Twin ain't nothing like Buzzville. Twin gets defensive because motherfuckers start shit, talk shit, and pick on shit that they don't need to pick on. Did he get defensive about his growth? I, 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 I done seen him get defensive with me about me saying certain things. He like he didn't react to it, but I seen it on his face. You know what I'm saying? But if I and I'm saying constructive criticism in a nice way. So the people that say shit brutally or fucked up, he get defensive and go through shit with them. Uh, gorilla grow is toxic to anybody. You know what I'm saying? So if he was going through some shit at the time, he felt like that him and Ted Buzzfield was tag team him Gorilla Grow and that that was that leverage. I was the foreman. <laughs> I was just saying because the manipulation of situations is a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, to think somebody your boy, you or he had your back, and really he was utilizing you. That's no different if you was getting about to get jumped and you pull somebody else in the fight, and they don't even know they fighting for you, but they think they fight for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's same difference.
Yeah, I could. You could say either Tupac. Who the fuck said that individual? <laughs> oh, that, that's uh, uh, Dr. Tricones. That <laughs> takes it to Tupac. Because Buzz be affecting the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, out of everything, I tried to get Buzzville back when uh, Gorilla Girl was trying to expose me on YouTube, and I felt like something wasn't right. Then I started realizing something wasn't right. And Buzzville know he's trying to sabotage my channel, but he in the background talking about, man, I wouldn't trust that guy. He's fucking shady. He won't take you to his house, blah, 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 blah. But they trying to expose me and want to see my house, so they got some shit to talk about and put me on blaze. But I'm, I'm shady because I won't let them expose me. So out of every which way possible, ever since that day, and I seen that, I know how Buzzville works. You know what I'm saying? Out of every which way possible, like he was waiting for some dirt. He was he was jacking off to see a uh, gorilla grower try to make me look like shit. You know what I'm saying? And out of every which way possible, he put anything that he could put on top of it to make it even more official that people looked at me like shit. By saying that I was going to sell the bike for crack by saying that I sold the bike for crack. I was in other chat rooms with Buzzfield and I'm talking to people and people talking about my grow and giving me props. And he can say, oh, you know he sold Gorilla's bike for crack? You know what I'm saying? Like when people say, oh, that guy, your plants look good, blah, 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 blah. Buzzfield pop up. You know he sold Gorilla's grow, uh, 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 grower's bike for $25 worth of crack. You know what I'm saying? Out of nowhere. And he didn't did, he did it on numerous occasions. No matter if it was true or not. And it wasn't true, so this motherfucker did that shit for almost two or three years. So every time he pop, I, I see him, that's the first thing he told the whole chat, is that I sold a bike for crack. And people blocked me and unsubbed me and all kind of shit behind that rumor. Like, it's certain motherfuckers that say, as soon as he said, oh, for real, I'm not fucking with him, block. And, like, I couldn't see shit else that person posted after that. Oh no, he ain't got no venom on me now. Nah. nah. Cause out of everything, he ain't, he can't say shit about me. Out of everything, Buzzville realized that I'm one person that's not gonna feed into his bullshit. I don't feed into nobody's bullshit. I don't feed into nobody's bullshit. Anybody got some shit to say about me, I let them say it. If people don't like me, I let them not like me. I'm not here to fucking make friends like that. You know what I'm saying? When we cool, we cool. It's no different than me being cool with uh, Manic Mouth. And Buzzville talks about Manic Mouth now because of the situation Manic Mouth has been through. I'm still cool with Manic Mouth no matter what the fuck the Manic Mouth is because I was cool with him. The person was cool. The personality was cool. And I understand the story and the situation that they've been through. But Buzzville will put somebody on blaze for going to they live. Look who was at his live. Look who's over there talking to that, to that guy. After he talked about chomos and all that shit, you pick on the person that's a victim from a chomo. So at every which way possible, you have no uh, no restrictions on who you'll go for and who you'll talk shit on. For a person to say, I was raped as a kid, my brother wasn't raped. So I transitioned into a boy because I figured if I was a boy, I wouldn't get fucked with no more. I grew up and I'm healing, so I'm coming back as a girl. And for people to attack that person and still attack the people that they call chomos, where are you at for real as a as a human being, as a man? What what's where's your dignity or, or your morals really set at? That's the thing, man. That's what you see what I just said. I'm still cool with him. I made a whole fucking video about people picking on him. I don't give a fuck what somebody say. I ain't didn't nobody come at me saying that what I said either. And that motherfucking video got a hundred views of me saying that to all the people that watched it. Cause ain't nobody who didn't watch it. There ain't nobody who watched it wasn't involved or don't know what I'm talking about or don't know Manic Mouth. I ain't got, I don't give a fuck what nobody judge me for. And that's that. At the end of the day, they could call me whatever the fuck they call me for defending somebody that got a fucked up childhood and went through some shit.
you can't let nobody judge you or could change who you are for the sake of somebody else giving a fuck judging you. This YouTube, man. I used to be affected by it. I used to let it bother me. Now I keep it moving and I show motherfuckers you can't affect me and they stop doing it. Buzzville's one of them. I have literally watched a uh, plant killer review half my plants on a screen paused for 10 and 15 minutes and talk about a whole different subject they're not even criticizing my grow they're not talking shit about my grow the one time that uh hamilton had it planned they was talking about that channel guy i know you out there come on up and let's talk like i was in their live like every which way possible they so desperate for any kind of fucking view or attention or whatever it is i don't even get what they're doing anymore like they was literally sitting there watching my plants just watching them no nah, he ain't gonna say shit about me as you can't see everybody that i had problems with they leave me the fuck alone right now the only person that flare up with my name still is twisted roots other than that everybody else leave me the fuck alone ain't nothing they can do or say or hurt or anything about me anything about my channel my channel slowly growing in numbers and there's not nothing they can do about it they can't fucking un they can't get people to unsubscribe from me they can't put no dirt on my name the proof is in the pudding you know what I'm saying? Out of every which way possible. Everything that I do, I do the same and keep doing it and don't give a fuck about what the fuck somebody say. They cannot affect me so they don't waste their energy on me. They, you, they can't, you can't fight by yourself. They, uh, that everything, that the, the situation of what KJ say, they fuck with KJ. They fuck with KJ and talk about his plants. They bring up old ass videos and try to talk about them having spider mites and shit. And I ain't seen since I've been around now. I ain't seen them with spider mites. But they got plants and videos that they show on their shit talking about them having spider mites. Oh, and I know they watch my live. That's the thing, man. It's, it's the situation. Say, for instance, uh, uh, smoking planters. They buddy with him. I watched them talk. To, they talk to him like he normal. And if I had a plant with fucking 10 pots of plants in a uh, pot with 10 plants in it, they would fucking talk about that shit for two years. They ain't got no problems with me now. All of them had problems with me at one time. Uh, D-Nugs harassed and stalked and trolled my fucking channel for four years straight. Motherfucker sucking the butt grow bosses did. You should listen to the grow boss. He'll take you to the promised land. You should really take the grow boss's suggestions. It'll, it'll fix your grow. You should listen to the grow boss. This and this and that. Every last one of them. Lone Villain, Buzzville, I mean, not Buzzville, d uh Viking, especially Viking. I had to block that motherfucker, I don't know how many times. I went through shit with each last one of them. Even Grokoski, we had bumped heads a couple years ago, and I can't remember what it was, but we had went through some shit, and I had stopped fucking with him. And I tried to come back around now, and I see that he'd be on some lame shit as a man. Not towards me, but just the shit that he talked about, like he talked about uh manic mouth you know what i'm saying and out of every which way possible that's some fucked up situation to talk about that's that's a that's a, a non-judge territory there i know and i almost think that's why he ain't got no uh gas in his mouth you know what i'm saying i think that d nugs know that he can't fucking really talk shit Cause he ain't got no space to talk because he really ain't doing like how he normally would like he is still trying to tell somebody bud is larfy or he'll try to say somebody did they veg too long or he'll try to say something on some of the shit that he said but he ain't like how he used to be i think he's little by little getting humbled 
I think maybe some of the shit that's being said about him on YouTube actually affects him in a different uh, direction. But I think that he's quieting up a little bit. Uh, the main one I see talking more is uh, Viking King. I know they watch that. They, they love watching some ass clap, though. Some ass they can't even reach the pussy through. But they watch that shit. Yeah, that's the thing. Is he's slow and demented. Like, even when he talk, he sounds demented saying it. But he, like, convinced that his, his words mean something. And all he's doing is probate him, is repeating shit that he got from the grow boss. No matter what the fucking uh, person plants he's looking at, he say the same shit that the grow boss would say. Oh, well, trust me, I pay attention to all the bullshit. Some of the bullshit I just don't you know, say shit about, but I see all the stupid shit and the childish shit and the ignorant shit and all that shit and the motherfucker trying to talk about black people and all that shit and everything else. I see it all. And that's all that, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if uh, Dr. Tricones is still here. My only main beef with you, and I don't know what your original beef with me is, my only beef is with you is you hang out with a whole bunch of fake ass motherfuckers and it's like you selling your soul to be there. You can act humble and act normal and come to channels like this and get along and be just fine. But you'd rather be with the motherfuckers, I don't know if you think that they're gonna help you grow or what you think you're getting out of that, but it's not where you need to be at, my baby, at all. As a, as a, and that's where you're getting attacked at, and that's why you getting the problems you're getting. It's because you're affiliating, you're affiliating yourself with people that you shouldn't be affiliating yourself with. Views and shit ain't that goddamn, goddamn important. I Listen, I can't imagine exactly how much a life has to suck to do the shit that these people are doing. Because my life is fucked up and I cannot convince myself to act ignorant and fucked up like these people act. I don't give a fuck. My life is fucked up, fucked up, fucked up, fucked up. And then after it was fucked up, it was fucked up. And then no matter how fucked up it is, I don't come here and let that reflect. I come here as my, my peace. I come here as my, my serenity. You know what I'm saying? No matter if I'm on a live, no matter if I'm on a panel, no matter if I just sit in my grow and stare at my fucking plants. I, this is my motherfucking sanity. <laughs> he say he say where's us? He don't listen. I got everything and there's people older than me that's acting childish as fuck. I'm 47 years old and it's 50, 55, 60 year olds talking shit and doing stupid shit on the panel. And I, out of everything, I don't know if they hiding from their wives or what the fuck they going through to be on the panel doing the shit that they do. But they do it. And the thing is, other than like Twisted Roots and shit like that, even Buzzfield Twisted Roots and shit was like the salt in the community four or five, six years ago. This community is fucked up now. What's up, Dazmans? It's fucked up, fucked up now. And then like even the networking and everything else that used to happen in the community, it happens, but it don't happen how it used to happen. Like it used to be a whole bunch more uh, uh, mail calls and shit happening on YouTube. Because everybody got along and everybody helped each other and everybody crossed strands with each other and did all kind of shit. Motherfuckers came and get along to make anything be better or improve. We supposed to be making shit different and better. We supposed to be able to network and make a new strand, a new genetic, a new cultivar, as uh, 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 Dr. Tricone say. And out of every which way possible, instead, we all fighting against each other pretty much can't even go in the wrong area now because you're supposed to be able to fight somebody when you get too close to them from all the shit you done said on the internet gangstering. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what is going to stop at? Back when I was beefed out with everybody, I don't know if y'all remember when I had my chest as my uh, avatar and my chest and my muscles and shit was my picture. 
And after I did that, motherfuckers was worried about me fighting them then. But they talked big shit, talking about meeting up at the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, damn, what the fucking cannabis cup and all kind of shit. And then they started talking about jumping me. Twisted is the only person I have never seen generate a healthy plant that think he the best grower out of everybody. Outdoors, indoors, he has never had a successful, real good grow yet at all. No matter how many gems he put around the plants, no matter what the fuck his dog pissed on, whatever the fuck happened, his grow end up being the shittiest grows. His plants look shitty. They don't even have the right shape to his plants. They either they in between being trained and not being trained. Outdoors, I done seen the wildest, ugliest, fucked up shit come from Twisted. And that man's head is bigger than the motherfucking uh, Goodyear blimp. A motherfucker can look at this right here and say that I still can't grow. I'm killing my plants. No matter if I'm growing how I like to grow, no matter if I like the, what I'm producing is what I want to produce, no matter if I feel like my bud grow different the way I grow my plants and train my plants and everything else from the duration of me growing and doing different shit, somebody want to tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to do and how I'm supposed to do it and why I'm supposed to do it that way. Let me tell you something, KJ. Stop with the energy of these motherfuckers and your plants to do better. That energy is coming, it's coming off of you into your grow, into your life, into everything. Oh no, Twisted Grows outdoors was shitty. I ain't seen nothing recently. I ain't paid attention to, uh, to, to Twisted in three or four years. I don't even know if he still grow outdoors. The shit that I saw was shitty. For somebody that is supposed to be the weed guy. Somebody putting spirits into the plants. The motherfucker's supposed to be catching the Holy Ghost. People talk shit about my outdoor plants because I only grow from two feet to five feet tall, well, maybe six feet tall plants. I don't grow big plants. And I put my plants out in July, so I don't grow big plants. Like if I wanted to grow big plants, I would put them out May 18th like everybody else and get a whole month and a half of uh, growth out of the month of June and May that everybody get. I put my shit out the second or uh, third week of July, get two or three, maybe a month worth of veg and let them flip. I won't say it like this. Twisted had uh, was saying that he was doing the frequency and the gems and all the shit like old boy that was here, the one that said he started that. But at the same time period, he was putting nutrients in the ground too because he was supposed to be sponsored by a nutrient line. So he was feeding the plants and feeding the plants because he was saying that the, 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 the rhinestones are supposed to be feeding the plants. And I told him I didn't believe the shit, so he blew up on me and we ended up falling out. And I told him I didn't want to have shit to do with him because I, I felt like he was misleading people. He was teaching people fake uh, prophecies of growing weed, pretty much. And then he was selling seeds, trading seeds, and giving away seeds of all shit that he hermed and act like he made a, a strand. Let me see what my battery doing, because I've been on this bitch for two hours, and I still got 45 minutes of charge left. That's because I had a fully battery when I started this shit. But I just been talking shit. But everybody needs to start getting along, man. I don't know if it's because people threaten about channels out growing their channels or it's a, or it's not enough space for everybody i don't know it's so it's almost like drug dealing you know what I'm saying certain people know it's, it's enough money out there for everybody but certain people intimidate and try to shut the other man down because he don't want his sales to go down 
instead of stepping this game up. And I almost think that people on YouTube try to hurt people's names and hurt their channels so they ain't got somebody that they got a challenge with or compete with. I don't know if I told y'all, that seedling back there is the oldest plant in my grow. With that, that said, that seedling is older than the two seedlings that's almost about to be harvested already. It took forever for that seedling to grow. But once it started growing, it started growing and then it slowed down again now it done kicked in and growing again. <clears throat> I don't know what the fuck that seed went through, but that seed growing slow, this seed growing slow. But that seed was a little ass, little ass looking like this. It looked like that for almost three months. You can go back in my videos and see it. That seedling was slow growing in the motherfucker. I grew other seedlings next to it that did what it was supposed to do. That motherfucker was just not growing. And only why it looked like how it does now is I keep topping it. I topped all the tops all at one time and made them all veg back at one time. And then it had got burnt too. You can see some of the burnt leaves still on it. Like the one up at the top there. <laughs> Stay away from the Americans. <laughs> that, well, that... It's a lot of, this is the thing is, and I almost believe that since COVID, COVID altered a lot of people, personalities and shit like that from all the stress and depression and everything everybody went through. Motherfuckers, everybody, I don't give a fuck what financial status you had or what marital status you had. Everybody went through some shit behind COVID. COVID fucked up the world. Fucked up people with personalities, their fucking uh, uh, confidence. Uh, their niceness and humbleness it fucked up a lot of things well this is the thing KJ a lot of things I say, like even when I say some things, it wake up a couple people because it, it's a couple people in their mind, they convince that they're better human beings than me. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it'll be an insult to them for a piece of shit to be telling a human being how to behave or how to act or saying that they're acting wrong. So their, their mind sub, 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 subtracts that to, to saying, before they give me the benefit of the doubt, they're going to change and act like they didn't hear what I said. That's why I say the shit I say to make people think about it. Like I say, I done did all kind of crimes and all kind of shit in my life, but I still got a human inside me. I still got morals. I still got self-respect. I still still know how to humble myself. I know how to act like a human being. I can alter any time you want me to. I can be a piece of shit or I can be a, 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 a normal person. You know what I'm saying? And out of everything, I don't get why everybody come to YouTube. People chime in here to reflect what their day was like. Like Buzzville, Buzzville spills a lot of energy on trying to make somebody look like shit. He'll go and take clips out of people's lives and shit and say, see what they said right here? Listen to what he said here. Listen to what he said here. Who has that energy? Who has that time to take time out my day as I'm already going through work, taking care of the family, making sure the car running, making sure my plants grow, and anything else that I got to do as a responsibility as a man and then I sit down at my phone or a computer and go to other people's lives and take tit and little nit bits and make a whole nother little post up about they shit. Who does that? Who has the energy for that over and over again? Even if you might do it once or twice because you just say, I'm gonna get this motherfucker, I'm tired of it. I'm gonna make a joke, it's funny. But to do three and four and five a day. Three or four, five a day on top of your day-to-day -day chores and life responsibilities and anything else you're supposed to be doing. 
How the fuck do you work? How the fuck do you fuck your wife? How do you make sure your kids eat? How the fuck do your dog going out to use the bathroom? And you got all this time because to add audit to, to edit some shit, clip some shit, paste some shit, to fucking Photoshop some shit, that take time. So you would take your time out your day trying to hurt somebody off of YouTube. And I, I look at it like you really hurting your damn self. You know what I'm saying? Like out of everything, you the one losing. They, you got, somebody else got you devoting your energy to them. They winning. They winning. So I, everything, when I say shit, I say shit because I watch and look and read and, and, and watch and read and read and watch because the motherfucker watch, he got videos, he got posts, he got fucking narrations, he got all kind of shit that he could go out his way to do to try to get somebody to look at somebody fucked up. Even the energy he wastes on Gorilla Grower. Everybody know all the shit about Gorilla Grower. But in his mind, he got to let us know again today. The same shit he let us know yesterday. And I was on the other side of the fence with that man. So I already know what he do and how he do it and how he get down. So I just look at it like, why does anybody entertain that shit? Like, why does Hamilton Grower even entertain it? Like, out of everything, like all this shit, I want all of us to grow back to growing. Buzzfield and put some seeds in the soil. We're going to see what he do. He say he ain't putting them outside. That's one thing in itself. Uh, Hamilton say he got some seeds sprouted. He just ain't got shit to show because they little babies right now. Maybe we could start talking about weed and growing weed and what our methods is, what we feeding them, what we doing to train them and shit like that. Instead of talking about my baby mama or, or my kids or, or what kind of car I drive or what I'm doing in that car I drive. Because uh, I swear I bought that car. I put the gas in that motherfucker. If I want to drive around, I'm going to drive around. If I want to cut some grass, I'm going to cut some grass. I cut grass for a living too. We all are miserable. That's my thing. I'm miserable as fuck. But that don't make me come out and attack another motherfucking YouTuber. I'm miserable as fuck. I'm miserable financially wise, bitch wise, fucking friend wise, family wise. Hell, I ain't even got no weed right now. I'm miserable. That don't make me come and attack a motherfucking YouTuber. Even though I know KJ sarcastic when he say ain't nobody gonna let me do that. Ain't nobody gonna let me talk to that person. They gonna say this if I do this. I can't smoke your weed without the backlash. Cause it's true that he would get backlash for any one of them steps that he went forth and did. Somebody would come and say, oh, KJ was smoking that pissy weed. Oh, KJ was on such and such live. Oh, KJ agreed with Budsville. KJ KJ. <laughs> Desmond said, I'm not miserable. Well, 98.3% of us are miserable. We can we we happy, but we miserable at the same time. Ain't nobody life great, is what I'm saying. Say for instance, I've been on live for two hours, two hours and 20 minutes. We all could have had something better to do for them two hours and 20 minutes, even the people that sit in the background watching and not saying shit. You know what I'm saying? This is our sanctuary. This is where we come to have some kind of life or have some kind of communications other than watching the TV watch us or falling asleep watching the TV or doing anything that could be boring as fucking or reflecting some kind of depression or anything like that at that time. Well, fuck you, Dasman. Maybe I need to start trolling your ass. That's how that shit work. Keep bragging, you're gonna get some trolls.
Well, uh, this my thing is, this is like when I went through the shit with everybody and um, they try to tell me how to grow. I even either suggested that I grow one plant like mine and I listened to all the directions on another plant. And when I did that, I didn't get no, no, no directions. I didn't get no instructions. I didn't get no suggestions. I didn't get anything. So as long as you say, uh, say if they trying to suggest and you deny them, they talk shit about you. But if you say, okay, I'm going to do exactly what you want me to do, what you want me to do, and you're going to hear crickets. Because at that point in time period, if they start to coach you and they start to tell you to do some shit and you do shit verbatim and your plants don't improve or they get worse, they shit fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I have uh, battled the, 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 the evilness of YouTube a few different ways to try to see exactly what leverage they had or what they was going to come with. Then I realized most of them full of shit because if I gave you the table to tell me how to grow and I gave you the plant, say this your plant, this going to be my plant, tell me what to do to this plant. <clears throat> and then nobody say shit. Not even the grow balls. The shit that I went through with the grow boss, I had a homemade LED light, but I know light. So I know if I got the light too close, it's going to turn my plants yellow. So I had the plants stressed out from light. And everybody's saying my plants are dead. I need to kill them and start over and this and that. I said, well, I'm going to kill them and start over if I don't know what's wrong with these plants. Help me figure out what's wrong with them before I do that so I know next time not to do it. And I couldn't get no suggestions for what was wrong with them plants. But we all was, they all was the, the best growers. They knew every goddamn thing and they had all the answers. So after they couldn't tell me, I adjusted the light and I brought each one of the plants back healthy. Invisible Bully. I'm pretty sure you remember me for the grow boss. <laughs> Nah, and like I just let you know, everything I did on the Grow Boss was staged. Now, for you say 70% of them have no family, no friend, no girlfriend, they do not know where to turn. That's me. I've been a single father for eight years. I have no friends. I have no family. Any family that I do have are either in Arizona or Mississippi. And the Arizona family are originally from here that all migrated to Arizona. My family in Mississippi is on my dad's side. My dad did, and all my uncles are dead up here. I'm by myself, and I struggle to raise two little girls. And I go through financial shit. I go through living situations. I go through uh, utility situations. I go through transportation situations. All through the summer, all through winter up to January, I walk my daughters to school. I walk to the school to get them from school. I walk to the grocery store and drag grocery store food from the grocery store. I've been through all kinds of miserable shit. It still don't make my YouTube channel reflect that. I still don't come and be an asshole to people on here. I be assholes to the assholes. I guess that's my reflecting is that I, I, I come and cuss people out that need to be cussed out. I don't know. Oh, I know they full of shit. That's all it is. And that's the thing is the egos are a bad motherfucker. And for your ego to convince you that you can tell somebody about their shit, about their grow, about anything, and talk shit, but then you don't want to help them fix shit. You can't help them fix it because you don't know shit. It's no different. Everybody from the grow boss talks shit about me using urine. And next thing you know, the grow boss did a segment about feeding urine to the plants, and the plants was thriving. 50% of the motherfuckers stopped talking shit after the grow boss said it. Let me tell you, I don't brag and I don't talk shit, and I'm not financially stable. I'm not uh, a bit. I got a business. When I can do some shit, when I'm motivated, if I'm depressed, I can't even go out and work. I sit the fuck down. But at 13 years old, I was probably about four foot eight, and I I got in a fight with a white boy that was about five foot six, five foot seven, maybe five foot eight. And he said, "I give you all the money I got if you stop hitting me." So I took the money. I left. By the time I got home, there was eight cop cars on my grass driveway, yard, drive front of the house, they was everywhere. I had a strong arm robbery case. Uh, as a juvenile, I was 13 years old, I was going to court, 
and I'm a little guy. So the whole time I'm in court, the whole trial, I'm saying to everybody in the courtroom, how do y'all think I beat up this big ass boy? You know what I'm saying? Because he had been there too with me because he was big and heavy set and I was probably about 90 pounds wet. So through the whole situation, I'm convincing myself that I couldn't beat this nigga up. Well, white boy, but I beat him up, I did. But at the same time period, the role that I was playing in court would convince the average person that maybe he didn't do it. And he's convincing that he is a little guy. The judge says to me, you know, this guy is real clever and slick. Um, I'm going to uh, postpone this court, this trial, this hearing, and I want, the, I want him psychological evaluated. I come back to court after getting tested for four and a half, five hours. And the judge, and I'm in sentencing at the time, when the judge says, uh, judging by his IQ test, I don't not only consider him a criminal, but I consider him a criminal mastermind. I've watched this young, young young man in court and he's very slick and devious. And I looked at my, my lawyer and I was like the dumbest I could ever be in my life because I could, couldn't grasp what the fuck this judge was saying because it didn't sound good. I looked at my lawyer and I said, what the fuck is he talking about? My lawyer says, dude, you, you scored extremely high on your IQ test and the judge thinks that you're capable of doing some shit. So at 13, I scored 100 and I, 188 on my IQ test. I ain't never told I, uh, YouTube that, <clears throat> but uh, above 150, you're legally a genius. And at 13, I was a legal genius. And this is on my kids' lives, on my dead baby mama life, on my dead mama, my dead daddy's graves. Uh, I ain't lying. I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. But at 13, I was legally a genius. So everything that's in my mind, everything that I do with my plants, everything that I do functionally why I say I don't let nobody alter I have already did some due diligence and homework and did some different shit to come out with the outcome that I come with for the reasons that I come with it and can't nobody penetrate my mind because the average person on YouTube is not so fucking smart enough to do it so everybody been trying for six years to affect me to get in my head to get me to be different to get me to listen to them to get me to be affected by their bullshit I'm not that fucking slow Well, that's the thing is, is what I learned about the grow boss going through the shit with him is the grow boss was a smart person. OK, and when I say that legally, I would say the grow boss is a genius, too. And when I say that, it's because not only was he pulling people in and people was following him and listening, everything the grow boss did was based off of other YouTubers content, meaning that he based failure off of failure content. He based winning off of winning content. Now the winning content he absorbed into his mind and made a blueprint of all the good signs of somebody growing good and made a blueprint for the simpletons to follow to learn how to grow. The grow boss also made it so that you was on the threshold of your plants barely being alive versus them dying. What I mean is that he taught you how to barely feed them so you didn't overfeed them. He taught you how to barely water them so you didn't overwater them. So they grow, but they grow in a different method, in a different formation, in a different level. Everybody that followed the grow boss's techniques, their plants are always light, light green. And they're light green through veg, they're light green through bloom, and they finish light green. They never have all the nutrients and shit that they were supposed to have because they was never fed on the level that they were supposed to be fed on. Even the main person that everybody's still watching follow to this day, his plants has never been a jet green yet because he followed the feeding methods and the techniques of the grow boss. He's followed the light distance, the feeding, and everything else. And light and feeding come combined is what your results of your food or your plant will be. If you feed too much and not enough light, you burn your plant. If you got too much light and not enough feed, you burn your plant. So in the situation the grow boss taught people just enough to keep the plant alive he taught you how to put the plants to the side just enough for the plant to strive to the light they stretched to the light so the growth was growing from the stretch of the plant trying to get to the light
Yeah, I know I need some weed, man. I might have to sit y'all down so I can go get what I got upstairs so I can roll something. Do I even have something to roll? Do I have a paper? Oh, yeah, I just bought some papers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if y'all give me a second, I'm going to have to prop y'all up or something, something, something. Uh, Yeah, I had just bought some papers. got y'all sitting in a cup I figure that's my my uh my my phone holder Ugh. can't wait to smoke this shit cuz I know my weed smoke better than the weed in the dispensary for show for show I know that for show for show I know I was just getting into too much lecturing and shit. That's why uh, Dasman wanted me to change it. Yeah, he just saw, he pretty much uh, uh, re uh, manufactured the weed Bible. But at the same time, period, he got a different metaphor, a different way of reaching out to the people killing their plants for real. Like, I ain't mad at everything about the girl boss. He know he he saved some people grows. He did he did uh help people. He even helped uh 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 the fuck is his name? Why can't I think of his name right now? Um this channel kind of big now. He got good growth. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, KJ, what's his name? The black dude from Flint. What the fuck? I can't think of his name for shit right now. What the fuck? Um, um, it ain't that my luck, my, all my lighters and the other day, bro. I'll try to sit here for a minute. Uh, I ain't got no light on me. I got my pen, but I got a lighter. I forgot I had my damn vape pen in my pocket the whole time. My, my weed cart. I, I got his intro song in my head and everything, and I can't think about what the fuck his name is. Uh, roll that motherfucker up quick! <laughs> Can't wait till I can clean these motherfuckers out. Cause look, that's mold.
And look how much mold is growing on top of the soil. If it's that mold on top of the soil, that, that soil is well uh, myceliumed up. Just to let y'all know, all this soil I'll be recycling. Because by the time I'm done harvesting, it's going to be clean again, back to being sunshine number four with some more improvements to it because I'm pretty much just putting all water or sugar water in it now. Well, actually, I'm putting all water from this duration of these plants. No more sugar. I'm going to let it eat everything up that's in it. And this damn joint running. Uh, uh, you fuck with him too, and you don't even know he from Flint. Um, fuck is his name? Fuck, you don't even know he from Flint. Uh, oh, 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 what's his, his, his fucking intro? Fuck, what is his name? I can't, I, and I used to fuck with him. Um, um, or is he from Lansing? Where the fuck, what the fuck is his name? He's like Grow Boss number one prodigy. Uh, I don't even know, KJ. It's just local weed. You know, I get weed from the local dealer. I get a half ounce for $30. But it be some crud. And I tell you, the average, it smell like that shit. It smell like wedding cake. What the fuck is his name? It's crazy. Oh. And you don't talked about him before. Okay, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's white. It's white mode. Oh, what the fuck is his name? Oh, uh, 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 Tone G. I don't know why I couldn't get that out of my head. <coughs> <coughs> It's Tone G, uh, uh, KJ. And you done talked about him. You fuck with him. Lance, I said it, maybe it was Lance. I knew it was Plain or Lance. But he, uh, Grow Boss taught him how to grow. He was growing and failing and losing, and Grow Boss turned his plants around, and pretty much he number one, Grow Boss number one prodigy. Like Tone G went to other dispensers, to other growth facilities in different states to fix their grows through the grow balls. <coughs> the only time he got dark and plants is outside. And then low key D Nug started getting a little bit better with his grows and he started growing short and bushy plants. Hmm. I wonder why he started doing that. Hmm. Hmm. Guess who else uh, copied the short bushy plants for a while? Twisted roots. Hmm. Hmm. I got a 
scully on. I'm sweating like a muffin. I bet you I done had at least 40 views and only got five likes. Because I've been on here for two hours and 42 minutes. And in the duration, I probably got about 40-something views and only got five likes. Oh, that's what's up. JP is, uh, is that, uh, 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 uh. I can't even think of his channel now. Is it Grower's Choice? Yield Source, that's what it is. I was close. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, he be going out, he be going through it like that. Is that because I think vegging for three months? <laughs> like all this is personal. The only thing I might give out is the the deep water culture. All this, all this going to the cheeks. Unless they smoke it with me. If I smoke it with somebody, all this is for me. This keeps me from going to buy bullshit. I know, uh, I, I know, I, I fucked with Yield Source when he first, first, first came out and then the nigga blew up. I, I, I know, he know me. He talked to me when I come to his lives and shit. I go there every once in a while. I ain't got no pals with him. Yeah, and that's one of the main reasons I went to the deep water culture is to get a bigger yield. Low key. I'm about to produce some shit off of that, and I'm still going to do organic. If I don't do a, a organic all the way through veg, the bloom going to be all organic. And I'm going to make rapper weed off of that, and I'm going to tax motherfuckers for it because they're going to want to smoke that instead of buying what they buy from the dispensary because everybody already complaining there ain't nothing good on the streets or in the dispensary right now. Uh, street weed still grown with PGRs, and then for a while, people think that's what they're looking for is a PGR bud. And then I start educating on, on PGRs. And then the dispensary weed wet and ain't right. It ain't getting nobody high. Oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a pot head. Hey, you ain't got to tell me. And I already look at what this is going to be, and I'm mad that it ain't going to be enough. But I ain't tripping because this will still be here by the time I get another yield out of tent number three. And then I still have some left after I get another yield out of tent number three. And I still have some left after I get another yield out of tent number three. Uh, like I say, I... My weed smoke bad. My smoke better than anybody's shit, man. My shit smoke good, good. Good, good. And I grow short, bushy plants because I feel like the nutrients soak into the bud better than fucking growing through a whole bunch of branching and limbs. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going straight to the flower. The only difference is, is I need to veg longer to make the bud sites bigger. Other than that, my shit be crud because that shit's coming straight from the earth. It's coming straight straight to the plant. I tell you, these last two, uh, three or four weeks about to be slow as fuck trying to get this shit harvested. And it felt like it was going fast at first. Now I feel like them three weeks ain't never going to come. I mean, look at that. That's a nugget. That's a nugget. It's growing. And it got three weeks to plump up. Well, uh, my thing is, is I want to kind of try to reset my growth from 
the thrips and all that shit and get to the point that I'm growing all healthy plants. And once I get to that, I feel good. I got some seeds I can still sprout, but I got enough genetics right now to grow a couple times to figure out which ones I'm going to eliminate. I think I eliminated this one false, met falsely. I shouldn't have did it, but I didn't want this, this plant. And I didn't clone it at all. And I don't know why. I didn't clone it even before I budded it. But the smell of it, I don't like the smell of the weed. It's one of the smells I would want to smoke. Orange sherbet and cherry pie. I ain't a real cherry, I mean, uh, orange sherbet person. I don't like the sherbet strands. I like cherry pie. I like gassy, gassy shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, Invisible Bully, I don't want them tall. I don't want them, I, I, this was a scrog for a reason. A scrog is different than trellis. A trellis is what you said, it's growing in a trellis. This I grow a scrog on purpose. It's always gonna be a scrog tip. I don't want them tall, I don't want tall plants. I don't, I don't grow tall plants, I don't grow the tops to grow tall. Like I train them like I train them on purpose. The only thing I didn't do is I needed to train them a little longer for this shit to mature so they was actually tops. And this shit focus every time I move my finger. So they was actually like, you know, good tops. So they would have had a good bud site. Now if all these buds was up here, like how these are, if these is all, if all the buds was like this, that canopy would be not cold. You know what I'm saying? And all I didn't do is I, I, I flipped early because <clears throat> I wanted to see some flowers grow. But if I would have matured it, and had everything stretched out like if all these nodes here had time to mature and stand up they would have been fucking nugs i just flipped it too soon but i wanted everything to be uniformed at this scrog i didn't want uh, a trellis or limbs i don't want big buds i don't want like uh say for instance if i grew a bud that was five grams six grams dry it's gonna be a gram or two enough because I'm gonna cut that bud down. I don't grow. I don't grow to harvest big yield like big. I, I can get the same yield if I vegged out in the same canopy the right way. Like no matter how big the plant is, this light is only gonna make the the weight it's gonna make. So if I train this right and get it right, it'll make the same weight as what that big plant that you're talking about because the light can't make more than what it's gonna make. The canopy can't make more than what it's gonna make. The next time I do this canopy, it's going to be filled in. The bud's going to be mature. I mean, the nose going to be mature to make the buds. Like all these small buds, they should have vegged out before I flipped it. And if I would have vegged them out before I flipped it, they all would have been big. These would have been bigger because they would have been vegged out longer. But they would have been bigger all the way around this whole canopy. And that way it would, it would absorb the light different in the whole nine yards. If all the ones that's inside of this plant was like this, it would have been a hell of a canopy. I didn't veg the center out enough. Those was all nodes on the side of a limb that ended up start standing up and growing while it was blooming. If I veg it out longer, it would have been a different yield. It would have been a different, all these cluster of buds would have been different. I needed to veg another two weeks or so to get those all mature and maybe cut those ends off while I was maturing that. But, <clears throat> again, proof is in the pudding. All of this is going to be at least four times more yield than that tent with three plants versus four plants. Yeah, I got three uh, three weeks left on here. They, these are going into week six tomorrow. They're going to week six tomorrow. And after this is week six, this one is week five, this one week four, this going to week three. All of them are a week behind each other after that tent. So everything here, if it's looking like this now, it's going to be out cold. That's another thing, uh, invisible. 
This is my first tent grows. This is my first time growing LEDs. Originally, and I told y'all I fucked this plant out. Originally, this light was all the way up at the top. And when I say all the way to the top, it was clamped with these on the pipes. So it was all the way to the top. And it was veg and growing and bloom like that for most of the time. This light was all the way up to the top, hooked up with just what these on the pipes. And that's how close it was. And I dropped it down and started getting used to the light. This one pretty much was a little higher than this, but it was close. So little by little, I started dropping them and seeing what the light does. I had to figure that out too, because I ain't never grew with LED light. I never grew in a tent. So all these tents is a step-by-step -step of me figuring out LED lights and growing in a tent. Like this tent, if I would have vegged it out longer, it would have been better. Now this tent represents what this is, because this plant and this plant, the same age as those plants, but they flip later. These clones, are I got them at the same time. That's a seedling that I trained. That was a seedling too. But that one got fucked up by that CO2 uh, container busting and it's soaking into the roots. But as this is, this is how I would uniform would want my plants. Like, just like that. If I can keep everything like this, if I put three or four of these in a tent, I'm happy. If, if I put three or four of these in a tent, I'm happy. If I put three or four of these in a tent, I'm happy. This right here is the same strand as those two. Look how much blood is on those. versus how much blood is on this one. And it's two or three weeks behind that one. This one a week behind that one. That's what you talking about, shit like that. I was trying to avoid that. this one it was flat when I put it in here so yeah This is uh, sunshine number four. If it was hydro, I, there's no way in hell these plants would be this small. Like to give you a reference of how I train my plants, I'll show you my veg. <clears throat> I train short bushy plants. <laughs> I leave all my lives up. Um, he called me Fox Two for Channel Two News. My, I'm I'm that guy Channel Two, but it's Fox Two News in Detroit, and he called me Fox Two.
I don't take none of my lies down. All my shit stay on my, everything I ever put on my channel this is up here. From uh, six years ago, you can go to a live. All my, I was doing nothing but lies when I first started my YouTube channel and didn't know nothing about shit else. All my shit was lies. It's still up. Lies that was cutting in and out. Lies of me rapping. Lies of me showing my plans. So all that shit's still up from six years ago. I just unmarked them. I didn't know they was private. And that's why I started, when, when, when I was saying all my shit wasn't being loaded up and shit, I started going through and seeing shit private and unmarked it private. And so it's unprivate now, but I didn't do it. I don't know why it was private. <laughs> Y'all tripping. <laughs> Nah, man. Fox 2 News is from Channel 2. Fox 2 News, Channel 2. And I'm Channel 2 because I had a channel called That Guy Low Budget Grow like 12 years ago. And then I had stopped it. And then when I started this channel up, I called it That Guy Channel 2 instead of That Guy Low Budget Grow. But Low Budget Grow was a real, uh, uh, originally a grow room that I had $250 invested in that I was making about $1,000 a week out of harvesting perpetual harvesters of weed. Yeah, Fox 2, Channel Fox, Fox 2 News. That's the name of the news company, Fox 2. Look up Fox 2 News Detroit. <laughs> they called you bug man. Damn, they gotta be for PJR. <laughs> PGR. Cause that's a that's only where the bug shit coming from. That's crazy. Now, who are they for real? What's y'all real name? What's y'all real profile? Y'all trolling? KJ, who are they? <clears throat> and what's the twin shit about? You calling all of us twins. <clears throat> Only time somebody calls somebody twin, it ain't they twin if y'all got the same birthday. Y'all weird. What the fuck is this shit? Who, who, who are y'all? And what's the twin shit about? That shit sounds sus. On some real, on some real, 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 real shit. Oh, they just they they like black buds feels. <laughs> Did y'all twin the likes then, motherfuckers? Did y'all twin the likes? Did y'all twin the likes? Both y'all twinning? Twin, twin, twin? I'd be happy when that damn the Oreos get done revenging and I caught that text to do it, he didn't even respond. I said, bro, how you selling revenge clones and not telling nobody? These motherfuckers ain't even growing. He ain't even respond. 
And these motherfuckers grow and slow as hell, but that's the only one growing, but I want to be able to put that in bloom. So I got to veg that out for another damn month, probably, for it to actually be not. Probably about another two weeks it'll be something, because it's starting to veg now. I mean, they cool. <clears throat> if you know them and they, that's just what they do. That's what, it is what it is. I know it's people like that. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to figure out what, where they came from and who they really is. I thought they might have been somebody hiding behind names. Appreciate the likes though, twins. Well, one of the twins. Oh, what time is it? That damn snow got my days fucked up, fucked up. I can't do nothing with that snow. I still ain't got that job done, KJ. I was about to try to get everything lined up and the weather just took a shit on me. I got wood and, ply and plywood and two by fours on the side of my house and shit. I got the plywood cut up, covered up with plastic. <laughs> What's the twin shit? <laughs> Where y'all from, man? I've been in the basement for the last two, three hours. So I ain't even looked outside. I went upstairs to get some weed, but I ain't even look out there. I, I can imagine it was fucked up this morning. This motherfucker say 20. What Buzzfield say? <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all funny. <laughs> <laughs> he say Buzz Bill say barely six inches. <laughs> oh, that's some funny shit. <laughs> oh shit, y'all gonna make me not want to end this live. <laughs> I already got 21% battery, though. <laughs> KJ, those some funny motherfuckers, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, what must Bill say? He said barely six inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit this is funny motherfuckers dog <laughs> I got tears <laughs> oh oh shit I'm going to go to Buzzfield Live just to see if these niggas in there. Oh, my God. They got to make that nigga day. They got to make Buzzfield whole live come alive. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but they gotta be watching his lives or something too. They gotta be fucking Buzzville. That's Buzzville's got him blocked. They gotta be over there. They came from AJ, so they here. They in Buzzville's too. They talking about Buzzville too well. <laughs> Oh my goodness. They gotta be on Buzzville head. <laughs> Say that is bushes. <laughs> they lurk it. <laughs> Nah, that's his boyfriend. <laughs> I swear YouTube got some funny shit going on lately. I can't even ca I can't even catch up to y'all. It's so many damn comical characters on this shit. It's so ridiculous. This some funny shit. I can't I can't keep up. Y'all got me feeling old in the motherfucker for real. I see. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be somebody we know. They just hiding behind some shit. And I don't know what the twin shit is, but they done came up with a whole new saying and shit. They done came out here with a whole new damn their own little thing. Man, this shit getting funnier and funnier, man. I swear to God. This shit ridiculous. <laughs> All you keep saying is twinning. <laughs> what the fuck is twinning? Hey, KJ, all you can do is laugh. It's comical as fuck, bro. Even if they tagging at you, all you can do is say that. I can't. I, I gotta admit, that's some funny shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's funny. You gotta think of it like this, bro. If you went to a comedian and you went to, to see a comedian on stage and then one of them comedians, like it's three or four different comedians on YouTube right now that roast and cap everybody in the crowd. And motherfuckers get go paid to go get that. This the same shit. This the same shit. No matter what it is, it's the same shit because the motherfuckers call people gay and all kind of shit and they laugh at it and they know, you know what I'm saying? But the motherfuckers say it in a funny form, so it's funny. These motherfuckers are funny. <laughs> this is gonna tell him twin. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this shit funny as fuck. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's just funny. It's comical as hell. You just gotta, you gotta, gotta don't take the humor with shit, bro. I don't laugh. The racist people try to say some shit to me, but they say some funny ass shit, so I laugh. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of funny shit out there. It's funny people in every shape and form. That twin, twin, twin shit is crazy. Every time a motherfucker get mad, I get mad at some shit if they speaking facts. If they speaking some, some riddles, goddamn, I'm gonna laugh at them motherfuckers. But it ain't nothing true and it ain't hurting. Goddamn, it's funny as fuck. Open the curtains back up, let them motherfuckers say some more. Because these motherfuckers fool, man. I don't mind them. They good with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he done put a like on there. 
<laughs> KJ said, y'all did good today. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and Twitter just said, okay, channel two know what's up. Yeah, man. It's fucking humor. Hey, listen, man. I'm a fucking funny, sarcastic motherfucker out in public. I make everybody laugh and cry. And I tell them at the same time period, the shit keeps me young. Because everybody's shocked on how old the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? I say, you know, I'm an old guy. I'm a senior citizen, goddamn. Laughing keep me young than a motherfucker. Goddamn, a smile is better than a frown. Hey, you keep responding to him calling you evil twin. <laughs> I'm channel I'm channel two twin. <laughs> That's all right. Y'all made it all better. Y'all made the day better for real, for real. This is gonna say evil triplets. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Say if the other twin come back we quadruplets, huh? <laughs> he said now we all evil, oh, hell no. <laughs> Oh my god. They gonna make me follow everybody just so I can see them in other people's lives. <laughs> I think it said twin, we might have to put evil in front of our names now. <laughs> believe that KJ they can't be bro I'm telling you it don't add up the, uh, the math ain't mathing I'm telling you man oh shit <laughs> hey and the, the mystery makes it worse right KJ because <laughs> you don't know who you fucking with <laughs> but I'll tell you this KJ they ain't none of our enemies. They too smart and too funny. They ain't nobody else that got a personality like these motherfuckers. They they own people. They might be, both profiles might be one person but they ain't nobody else that come and harass us or talk shit. I'm telling you, bro. They, they, if they got the personality they got in these, these uh, profiles, and they got another profile of their normal as attitudes and they can switch up this good, them niggas need to be actors. I'm telling you, them motherfuckers are unique. They original. These ain't nobody that's, that's acting like somebody else. Ain't nobody as clever as them. I'm 
on some real shit. If you think about it, everybody that you come across that's got an asshole personality or a comical personality or whatever, they ain't got their personality. They don't bother me. That out of anybody they could have came here and talk shit, these motherfuckers got me crying. They don't bother me. Out of anything, if they are one of my enemies and they, they're good on this goddamn profile, I'm blessed to have them as an enemy now, nah, because these motherfuckers good. <laughs> I'm saying, man. <laughs> For real. If they gonna chime in, they made the live go an extra 45 minutes at least because I would have been gone already. Invisible, what up though? On everything, bro, I got like 14% left on my battery and I'm dragging it out to the max because these motherfuckers funny as hell. <laughs> I, hey, bro, you just got to take it with the, the content. They funny, bro. They funny. It, it, it is what it is. Buzzville couldn't be as funny as these motherfuckers if his pinky toe got cut off. These niggas funny. This is gonna say we watch a YouTube triplet. Damn, I almost thought I had a phone charger down here. I got the wrong charger cord, though. It's for the damn Bluetooth speaker. There y'all go again. Can't we all just get along? So, who grows here? Who knows about growing? Who thinks that my plants are going to root in my deep water culture system with just cutting, sticking in the, in the clay balls with the water running on them? This nigga's an asshole. He said, I wish my real name was fighting the evil. talk about me I'm 47 but I ain't had parents I raised myself pretty much my dad was an alcoholic all my life my mama died when I was four my evil grandma raised me I don't know if y'all know the movie uh, or the book flowers in the attic that was my childhood This nigga said, I got this stupid name. <laughs> this nigga is silly. <laughs> Invisible Bully was here earlier. I almost think that was, uh, that was oh boy, the other hideaway name.
He hear he hear me saying it. He hear me saying your name. It's no different him saying channel two now from you saying uh, Fox two. He hear me saying you. He hear me addressing you. They ain't gave no signs and they from nowhere yet. I'm telling you, they 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 different. And the fact that you say they only been at uh, AJ Grow, that means a lot too. Cause if they ain't all in the community, they ain't all in the community. You misreading the you misreading the board, cause they getting your name from me saying it. I ain't gonna be no twin. I don't know what the twin mean. I don't know what the twin stand for. It could be setting me up for the okie doke. She actually felt like it was necessary for talking about please stop contacting her. <laughs> Cause she tried to get hired in and want so much money for an hour. You'll be all right. But I do gotta end this live. Cause I only got 11% left. And my phone like to cut off on me when they get too dead. But looking through the camera, I do like looking at my plants like this. And I like being able to do this. Like look at that re plant back there. That clone was had to be re -veg. Now that bitch about to bust loose. Like them right there. But those there are clones from them clones. Evil quadruplets has a ring to it. <laughs> they go morphing power. <laughs> Anywho, peoples. I'm about to end this live now. I appreciate all the funniness and the stop bys and the likes and all that. I appreciate it all. I got to charge my phone up. I wish I had some charge to it because I feel like rapping, but I can't do it. Eventually, we're going to figure out what the twins mean. But I appreciate y'all. Mad love. Y'all be safe today. Don't go outside if you ain't got to. If you somewhere it's snowing, don't go outside because motherfuckers can't drive. You can drive. They can't drive. That's what I learned. I'm trying to figure out who to bet on, uh, on, 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 King, King, whatever the fuck, King drives, Draft King. I don't know how to use that shit. Yeah, I'm about to go look at it now. But anywho, y'all be safe. Stay out the traffic if it's snowing near you because motherfuckers don't know how to stop, drive, or, or slide. Be safe. Enjoy y'all day. I'll holler back at y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and share this shit. Peace out.